Hey, John Garrett. Hey. Hey, Hey, John Garrett. Hey, hey. hey dude, good. We're doing well. Nice background. I like the color. Thank you. It's all black. That's the twisting noxious. <laughs> That's all you need sometimes. Twisting noxious. Um, on that thing late at night, you're, you're singing. Twisting noxious. 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 Hi, Elena. Hi. 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 Christmas Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Well, actually, no, it's a, it's a pub t shirt. Well, I'm supposed to be doing the virtual pub thing. So, and I'm, I'm doing okay so far. This is currently. You're not shopper style. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, that? Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Is that? You've got it muted, I think. We're not in on the master mix, sorry. A man can never have too many knobs. There's always another knob. And another knob. And another knob. Oh, Nigel, you made your Christmas tree already. And then you turn them on. Hi, you didn't have time for that yet. It's been a bit like my neighbours have been sitting on the back of the trees that last week. Yeah, yeah. crazy, I think it's just like yeah, everybody's going a bit too crazy. There's my, there's my Christmas. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, which, which music <laughs> is that on? <laughs> 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 You're an elf. Okay, I'm an elf. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Josh. <laughs> And then it's free form from there on in. Oh, you mean there's no agenda or structure to this at all? We're just kind of rambling, okay. okay. Uh, we're just going to have a nice time. Oh, hi, Mana. Hi. Oh, you got a Christmas jumper. <laughs> And we're live. Excellent. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Welcome to the last 3DS London for the year. We've got Yay. nine, ten of them. Wow. That's it. Um, shall we just call out the obvious that most of our viewers are probably watching the second screen and the CG Architect Awards. So yeah. <laughs> we can do the same thing here and jump. I'll do that in a sec. I'll just get rid of Zap. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> very nice. 
Sorry, Zach. Sorry, Sorry, Zach. Sorry, Zach. Yeah. We'll Sorry, Zach. bring that up on our second screen. And then we can jump on over and we can carry on talking. So, okay. Running commentary. So, we've been watching, of course, like everybody else from the start. What do we yeah. think? Uh, congratulations to the winners so far. Yeah, I mean, it's great that uh, Bertrand's got a, got an award. I really like his stuff. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't see himself as a pro, though, because I mean, I, I would certainly put him up there with but the best not, of us. Non commissioned. But Josh is in this category as well. So, well, commiserations to yeah, Josh. True. But if yeah. you're going to lose to someone, lose to Bertrand Beek, because yeah, it, yeah, I think that's probably an honor. Um, I was excited to see that Bertrand is a real person. Uh, he's been in the Olympics yes. for me for such a long time. We tried to get him to London forever. So it's yes, interesting he's like a legend anyway. I think he's quite shy, but I don't know for sure. I think uh, I have seen videos with him before. I think uh, Jeff. He's kind of met up with him a couple of times and things like that. Put some but stuff Jean Piero, I think he presented yes. at Three Fat Academy. Is that right? Yes, yes. We are. I remember. Bertrand. I was there. Yeah, yeah. We had Bertrand. Uh, I think six years ago, more or less. Yes. I think it was Academy Day Four. Uh, yeah. So he was at that time. He was willing to to jump on the stage, <laughs> but uh, you know he has lots of uh, restrictions from uh, his company. Really? To, oh. to speak in public, so so that's that's the reason why is I know him very well because we we spoke we speak a lot together and he, is he he's very shy at the end, but also he has this kind of restriction. So is it is it is three D his day job or does he do something else? No, he does something else. He's a right. journalist. That's what I thought. Yeah. All oh, right. Um, okay. Real job. Before we jump into all of this, <laughs> should we have a quick introduction of who, who we've got on our show tonight and yeah. who, who's with us and who's going to join us in a, in a minute? And where do you want to start? Well, we'll start with you. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'm Alex. Uh, I've been doing this for longer than I care to reveal on camera um, since, I don't know, the first version in DOS, was it? Maybe? Um, me and Nigel go back a long way. That before anything else happens, doesn't it, really? We won't talk about that. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Art Fizz. Uh, I used to work for Hayes Davidson, but that was like 11 years ago. I've been doing quite a lot of other stuff since. So, uh, But I'm still broadly doing buildings and architecture, and I'm still normally registered as an architect, strangely enough. Although I keep every year it comes around, I keep thinking to myself, uh, is it worth paying up the membership fees or not? Mm, I don't know. And then you think, oh, so, it. I'll just do it. And... Alex, jumping in, you were on our show earlier on this year, um, and uh, yeah, it's great to have you back. Um, you. Nice to it's be. also, well, well, let's... Let's introduce Olga next and explain Olga. why. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm Olga. I work at Hayes Davidson. I'm an artist and a senior of cultural development at HD, um, and I'm probably much... Um, less time in 3D than Alex here, but I, again, I don't want to reveal it on the camera either. <laughs> and uh, what's your latest and most important job, Olga? Uh, of course, being on the 3DS committee, if that's what you're fishing for. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Nice. Welcome. Um, we're really happy to have you on board. <laughs> you have um, standards to uphold now. I can present myself, guys. Well, not if they're mine, Alex. Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe not then. Go for Gian Piero. Okay, yeah. I'm Gian Piero, and I'm the co-founder uh, of, uh, of SOA Academy, um, and also curator of the Academy Days, uh, the event that is going to be live tomorrow for the first time online. So <laughs> it's going to be uh, an experience, even for us, um, and normally what I do is, uh, managing the company and, uh, also I'm teacher at Academy and, um, I try to have everything, you know, in order here <laughs> to, that it basically can run smoothly. Um, I've been artist in, uh, A.S. Davidson. Uh, for a couple of years in 2008 
Um, and after that experience, I decided with Roberto and Manuela to start the company. So it's been a long ride because right now we are celebrating 11 years of, uh, of the company and 10 years in the, in, as academy. So, you know, I can, I can, I can feel my pain <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> but it's, it, it's really worth it. I mean, it's really worth it. Well, it's great to have you join us today. Um, Thank you we've for also, inviting me, Nigel. That's, that's, you're more than welcome. Um, Eleanor? Me? You are the only Eleanor on the, on the meeting today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> I'm not very good on the camera because I don't okay. have much experience with uh, showing on, uh, with doing this on Zoom, on whatever, online stuff. So, but and you were you were one of the judges of the CG Architect Awards that's taking place at the moment, correct? Yes. Um, well, um, so it was quite an experience for me. It was good as an experience. Um, well, and I think we'll we'll get on to talking about that later when Jeff and. Fabio and Jason join us. Oh yes, right. So uh, what should they say? Um, stuff about me, well, I think everybody uh, kind of um, associate me with the uh, Women in Art Viz group on Facebook. And um, yes, I am, um, I am uh, qu quite active uh, on the group, at least um, I'm trying to, to see uh, what new talent is out there and try to encourage girls and uh, obviously women in RVs and also I would like to do a lot more for this group but for the moment I'm just trying to um, to keep um, a, an atmosphere of support um, at least the moral support is like um, we we don't want to to see um, people who are trying to promote their work or anything like that. We just want to to make a point that um, women are as talented as men, and uh, they are not so. Uh, promoted they are not so I don't know some of them they're they don't have the confidence to to share their work or and anyway so many of them need this encouragement I so think I think as a group it's and it keep, continues to grow month on month and it's incredibly supportive and I think everyone in the industry is completely yeah. supportive of what you're doing I think Elena, yeah, you are. Um, I think Elena, you were 3DS London's first headline female presenter, actually, uh, a couple of years ago. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice to hear. Thank you, Simon. I think, was it the uh, Evermotion Awards that you won? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Hi, everyone. That was. Uh, yes. Thanks to Hi, you Josh. that I managed to. Um, Hi, Josh. <laughs> the um, shall we introduce Zap? Zap. Um, yeah. Thanks for the music. I may have bolstered up the very beginning of it with a feedback loop, but I couldn't tell because you had so much echo on, on your singing. And, and, I, th I think he's muted. And now he's, he's, now he's, maybe Zap doesn't have a voice. He's synthesized. It's very quiet. We can't. Hey. I've got to use the style of just ask them. Are we well, live? While well, Zap sorts himself out, should we move on to Josh? Josh, how are you feeling? Um, <laughs> I'm obviously <laughs> a little bit disappointed that we didn't win, but I'm also very happy for Bertrand as well. Yeah. Are we live? Yeah, we're, we're live. Totally we're live. live. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I was thinking, Josh, well, I, I, I mentioned it. If you're going to lose to anyone, lose to Bertrand, so I think it I think, I think I think so, yeah. And you know, they're all amazing, they're all amazing films, aren't they? 
They were very good. Yeah, everything. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that it would be wonderful to be sitting here and saying, "Yes, we won." That would be, uh, yeah, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Bertrand, and congratulations to all the other nominees as well. Absolutely. Oh, excellent! Uh, we got, um, well, we've got. Emma. I, um, we've got my, my little boy has been dealing with the communications on the uh, on the chat throughout the entire presentation. So, um, oh. anything that's been anything that's been said in the comments, if it has a smiley face, has been done by a seven year old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that uh, the point of emojis? Uh, yeah. Well, they're not all smiley faces. I actually, when during during the announcement, I had to I had to pull him off and stop him from posting <laughs> something. <else. laughs> Brilliant, Sam. How are you getting on with that microphone? No lag. Oh yeah, we got. I heard something then. Or was that? Oh no, that was. Uh, no, that was him. Nikos. On, that no, that was him. Nikos. No, no. Okay. It was like a. Um, yeah, a bad dub film. Who's just won? Who won the uh, the uncommissioned? Still, we just missed that. I, I think so. Think, was it Pedro? Hang on. Pe Pedro is chatting right now. Yeah, it's like Pedro. Pedro. Yeah. Pedro. What? Excuse me. Nice. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Emma. Pedro. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're, we'll be back on the intros. <laughs> we're just saying hello. <laughs> hello. It's Christmas. It's a quick hello. Um, and Yana, you made it home. Good. Right. Yeah. Right on time. Um, now, I think the other guys, as I said before, they're going to join us afterwards. But until then, it's just us. So, um, so are, are, we, are we all London based? No. Apart from apart from Zap. And Nikos. Oh, oh, I'm actually in Greece at the moment. So. Jean Pierre. Oh, okay. in, no, in no, me. me. <laughs> oh, not yet. Not serious. <laughs> no. Unless you want to class Reading as part of London. It's on the Elizabeth yeah. line. Oh, why not? Oh, okay. Well, we're, not, well. we're not 3DS London anymore, really, are we? We're we um. Not until we get back to Trackles. Sadly, I can't wait to go back to. Uh, to um i know with the pub yeah yeah so <laughs> what's up oh, yeah that's what what's our called. agenda for this evening uh <laughs> i thought that's your job <laughs> so we're going to talk yeah. about all the winners on cdr we, we can do that we can do that maybe we wait to the others i think um we can talk about academy days first um before they arrive and and jump in maybe maybe you want to do have you have you got a cocktail sorted out for us simon um kind of <laughs> kind, kind of so i'm not really big on cocktails and okay. so what about looked, an ale i looked on the internet yesterday and i i found a christmas cocktail and i i, I did a practice run last night revolting <laughs> <laughs> i can't in good conscience share that with one but i do i do have a uh, I do have something. Yeah. Excellent. Something planned because Nikos, you've been you've been burning the midnight oil. I know. It's been busy month for me, uh, but I'm enjoying my wine. So I was looking forward to see Simon what he's gonna make, but it's not mm -hmm. a surprise, so I will keep it safe. It's not that surprising. It's pretty <laughs> okay. it's, it's actually something that probably everyone's already got in their uh, fridge. So but um yeah. Pint of milk. And we can just put Christmas in front of the name of it, and uh, and I'm sure it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> what about Christmas? Um, Christmas jumpers. I think in the YouTube comments, everyone should rate everybody's effort. Uh, yeah, I Nigel, put one on there. I bring my, 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 my Christmas jumper. It's a bit warmer there for a Christmas jumper. There we go. Call me Elf. Love it. There we go. That is amazing, Nigel. Amazing. amazing going to be worn uh, while taking the dog I think walking the dog yeah <laughs> definitely it's um 
That'll scare the the neighbors. No, so you make the you make a great elf, I think. This was, this was Emma's brilliant idea to wear Christmas jumpers and just gone for something super subtle and yeah, classy. You've gone. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say it had to be Larry. Come on. And you've got you've got some. I think gingerbread men. Yeah, gingerbread men with Santa hats and there we go. candy canes. Very festive. Um, Simon, what what are you wearing? That's... I'm wearing a, a smaller version of what you're wearing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's, let's bring that back up again. Oh, no, that was amazing. I think that gets my vote. Can I go next? Because obviously, um, um, I'm just wearing a shirt that is red and blue. That's um, a full on lumberjack shirt. No, it's not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, yeah, I, I've got like a really terrible excuse. The eco-friendly Christmas shirt that I ordered didn't arrive, and I can only assume because they're using an eco-friendly transport method. Forty cars. Oh, hi, Amis. So, can you hear me now? Oh, oh yeah. 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 You got yeah. a phaser or something yeah. going on? Uh, yeah. So I, I, of course, ran this through the entire music studio, and I was like dropping a plug-in and the entire music software crashed. And since the voice goes through it, I can't talk to you guys if the <laughs> music software crashes. Then uh, you just moving my mouth, but nothing else. That's all right. You can talk to us <laughs> synthesized. I can. Um, and, and I think we completely ruined your music pre-title pre by all talking over it. Doug Nabbit. <laughs> but but I think when um when Simon goes to make his cocktail, you can make you can do the accompanying music. Cocktail music, I can do that. Yeah, and of course, there's always requests. Jamaican themed. Requests from the panel. Um, Jamaica. Okay. Oh my god. We have the technology. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's life gym but not as we know it right well let's get down to so i asked the the committee about or well, late last week if they had questions for any of our of our guests that have arrived um shall we start does anyone have any questions shall we talk about academy days tomorrow first yeah i think that'd be great i'd like to hear about that yes Okay, guys. Here I am. So tomorrow we are gonna uh, we are gonna stream our event, the Academy Days 2020. Um, I wanted to thank you, uh, Nigel, and all the 3 ds London Committee for uh, for being our media partners for the event. What we have decided to do this year because the pandemic is to move the event online for obvious reasons. But at the same time, we wanted to, we wanted to have, a, have a goal for the event. And the goal is to raise funds for ICRC. So, you know, pandemic affected directly our team here in SOA. So honestly, we were not into the right mood to do something this year. Um, but I want, at one point we decided to, to make it because we felt like it wouldn't be a missed opportunity to, to do something tangible for the community. And so for, we teamed up with ICRC and uh, we, dedicate, we are dedicating the event to, to them. I'm very glad that uh, the industry convey massively at the event. Um, I believe that the Academy Days this year have somehow reunited all the industry around a single event. And that is something that it's really important because I believe that uh, pandemic put all of us at the same level. And I believe that we can go through this period just if we stay together and we cooperate. Um, so, so, 
I have some questions. Yes. Just in case people haven't already checked it out, yes. um, what time does it start? What, what's the sort of the um, the format? Basically, Nigel, the format is going to be like this. The live streaming is going to start at 2 p.m. local time here, so UTC plus one. So in London, it's going to be 1 p.m. And uh, they will find the link for, uh, for the webinar inside our website. So in, into the same page where they registered, they will find opened the, the slots where they can find the link to connect to the live, to the live webinar. Uh, also, there will be an on-demand section, an on-demand area where we collected some of super, super nice contribution from our, our speakers. I can mention, I can mention Olga and uh, all the IS Davidson team that uh, they were so kind to provide us this contribution. And the same I can say for all the others. Today, for example, I received a, a contribution from Daniel from Flood Slicer. So they, they are, you know, they are taking their time to, to put some great content on, on the event. Uh, we are working and we worked for a virtual production for for tomorrow so we hope that everything works fine you know it's also something like a test for us but uh, we believe that apart for the technical issues that can be part of uh, a live event uh, i believe that this is going to be something great because really with a small effort of every one of us we can give relief to the most vulnerable in this tragic moment well, I so, think and that, that is really important to bring up and that, that it's a free event and therefore, you know, try and contribute, try and try and donate anything that you can to actually support yeah. what you're doing. And that's, that's part and parcel. You're, you're, you've put in so much effort and all the presenters have put on so much effort to put on a really great show that, you know, I, 3DS London are 100% behind you know, show some support and donate. Thank you that, very and much. That's, thank the, you very that's much. the point. Yes, thank you very much. It's very important. I mean, um, uh, I cannot, I cannot spoil this, but uh, we will have some uh, some words from ICRC. Okay. And uh, you will see how they are helping. You know, people in. Uh, um, in, 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 in areas where they are suffering, not just the pandemic, but also the war. So, yeah, I believe that we can do something amazing, guys. I mean, it's, uh, it's, part, of, uh, it's part of our culture and I believe, and I feel that with an event like this, prob probably people can be also even more sensitive on this problem, you know, and oh, they absolutely. find- and they find the way how they can cooperate even further for the future. So I'm so glad, I'm so glad um, to the speakers and the media partners that uh, are helping us for the event. So yeah, let, let's look, see tomorrow. <laughs> oh, look, look, we're all excited for that. Um, the, how's business been for State of Art Academy this year? Because I know you, you were in the epicenter of when earlier on this year when it, the virus hit Italy and it yes. must have hit the business so hard and it's but and I think we're all gutted that we couldn't come we didn't have the live academy days in October which for most people in the industry it, it finished off that was that was the end of summer it was come come to Venice and enjoy three or four days and and then we were all into winter yeah so uh, well, Nigel, as I said, um, for us, well, I can tell this story, you know, in March, we were, uh, we were running a masterclass here at Academy. So the international masterclass that lasts one month and we had people from all over the world. Uh, after one week, the government decided to, to lock down everything. 
So we asked people, we asked the, our, we asked our students to, to go back. And that for us was um, difficult to accept, but at the same time responsible, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, so all of them came, came home safe. So no, no, no one of them had problem. The problem we had, as I said, is that COVID affected directly the, the SOA team. So here we, some team members lost some relatives. Um, so to be honest, October, apart from the pandemic, you know, the event, generally speaking, was not in our, let's say, in our thoughts. Even if we know that people are waiting for that and they wanted to, of course, enjoy the event, Venice, etc., etc. But of course, pandemic constraint have forced us to, to reimagine the event, so making it online. And, uh, but at the same time, forced us to find uh, a motivation to do it. And the motivation is actually ICRC. So the support at uh, ICRC for the campaign against COVID-19. Uh, so I really hope that through, through the event, we can send a positive message to, to all the industry and the community. Um, and so that's why I'm, I'm very happy that we can gather all together tomorrow. We got, mm, we got right now 1,650 registrations on, on the website. Fantastic. And uh, we, we, can host, we can host 3,000 people maximum. So hopefully for tomorrow is going to be enough. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be some problems. But, uh, you know, we... We hope on Zoom tomorrow. You know, everything is uh, <laughs> up to Zoom. But, well, we're on Zoom at the moment, and uh, uh, we, we're, we're nowhere near the uh, maximum that you're going for, but let's hope we can get more people to actually tune in tomorrow. Although yes. it's, it, it's, it's really exciting, and I'm pleased that I don't have any work to do, so I'll be tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very nice. That's, that's great, uh, Nigel. Um, wh wh what else I can say? I mean, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, a nice opportunity, as I said, to 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 let people and let the industry understand that cooperation is is possible uh, if uh, we 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 gather around a goal that is bigger than us. And I find very positive and mature all all the people who are joining us because it's it, it gives me the hope that you know when we have to speak about something very important we are all on the same boat so so yes this is something that we hope it can continue because you know what what i said all to all the speakers and people uh, with, uh, who I talked with is that from, from pandemic we cannot go out alone. So try to think about the vaccine, for example. You know, the, vaccine, the vaccine has to be an effort from scientists from all over the world. All, all, all the labs have to cross-share information to make a vaccine possible. And the more they cross information, the more they will find a, a better solution. So it's all, about, it's all about cooperation. So it's possible only if people connect together and find something which really deserves to be for a fight, let's say. So I'm really glad I'm, I'm having this opportunity with you guys. I really... Uh, I'm a fan of the Trade Yes London uh, since when I when I when I worked in London, and uh, and when a couple of years ago we were live at the pub with Roberto <laughs> with uh, all the Trade Yes London community. So, can anyone remember actually going to a live event? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it seems like it, it's a year ago or, or it's, it's, let's pray that next year we all can get back together absolutely oh, yes. yeah, we yes. will i, I mean the, We're praying uh, for that the um the vaccine stuff is super exciting um uh, I, I i'll post a link on the youtube thing but i i didn't know much about it until this afternoon when i read about it it's really fascinating um but Jampere, I do remember um, meeting you. I think we were at I think we were at Hayes Davison. Yes, it was the first time I met you um, at, for three DS London. So yeah, it would be really nice to see you. And exactly, I'm I'm looking forward to coming. I, what's the name of the uh, the restaurant where we have pizza? Uh, uh, in Venice, it's yeah. called it's called Pino. Yeah, it's a it's a good pizza there. So <laughs> it'd be lovely to have a pizza with you again uh, next year. Yeah, we will do definitely. I mean, we, we are here, we are waiting. I think all of us is waiting that, you know, this situation ends really soon. Um, but uh, we cannot make any, um, we cannot make any plan for this, you know, guys, because there are so many variables uh, for the future that the only thing that really matters right now is that all of us are safe, healthy, and in some ways we can continue to do what we like. Um, I think right now that's the most important thing. I really yeah. hope we can we can have an Academy Days again live next year <laughs> as well. Well, let's hope so. Um, I think we've been joined by Fabio. What's going on? How are you guys? <laughs> Sorry for being late. That's all right. It's it, it's still you you're you're still still meant to be going. Oh my god, now my mother's done. calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I it's me calling you to tell you to turn your phone off. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, um, hey Gian Piero, thank you so much for um, coming on tonight, and also thanks also for um, speaking so freely and openly and warmly as well i think yeah it's really um really appreciated and yeah great great to have you with us tonight thank you thank you josh thank you very much thank you for for having me tonight here um yeah and um welcome fabio is he still here there he is yeah yeah and and we've got jason and, and jason. jeff as well jeff, jason, jeff as oh, well fantastic um let's have a big I've got round a to pick with you guys <laughs> <laughs> we made it Hey, Jeff, finally, finally finished it with a marathon. Hey, Jeff, well done. That was fantastic. Yeah, oh, your video you. edit screen was something else. I saw that. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> thank you. Well, yeah. Yeah, that was a, definitely a, a labor of love, that one. <laughs> How much labor is involved, Jeff? How long has that taken to make it look that uh, good? That took me about 200 hours to edit, yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, okay. My God. But, but amigo, it was great. Seriously, you've done an amazing job, and congratulations mm -hmm. to all the winners and Fabio, Jason. You all collaborate in something important. So yeah, congrats, guys. Amigo, I love your background, uh, by the way. I, this is this. I, I've, I've never. This is not something I would ever in a million years picture behind Nikos. <laughs> well, this, this, Nigel asked me to do something Christmas wise, so yeah, I bring my friends as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've, you've got your snowy friends there. Yeah, yeah. This is Pablo, and this is Pancho. <laughs> uh, Jeff, I was just um, I was just reminiscing with Jan Pera about Venice, and it, and, it, and, that, and now you're here. I, I can remember San Diego. I don't know. I don't really know if I should guess how long ago it was. It must have been 15 years ago. Is that yeah. a cigarette? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a oh God! Yeah. Yeah. And then we the, had very, less, the less said about that, the better. <laughs> yeah. The very, um, the very first three D awards ceremony, the very, very first one was actually held in a the upper floor of a restaurant in Los Angeles. So I think there was you know, there was maybe twenty people there. So yeah, it was right. Yeah. Well, the one I there were a few more than that. I remember it. It was there, there were quite a few there for that. I think. The one was that I remember, the, the one Masters one the, the year before that started? Yeah. 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 Exactly before. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, San Diego was good, isn't it? A really nice place, actually. Um, I, I, I've got a good, good little story. It'll only take a minute about that San Diego. But the um, Autodesk hosted uh, an evening on an aircraft carrier. Oh, that's San right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can remember, I mean, we were talking briefly about um, women in art biz and all of this stuff. Well, 10 years ago, in, in CG, not just art biz, 
there weren't any. It was just it was just geeks like me. <laughs> so I mean, I, I that that aircraft carrier is legendary, isn't there? I heard there were dancing girls and everything. Well, there were there were like there were like three girls on podiums dancing, bless them, and and then there were like two thousand computer geeks uh, on this aircraft carrier. And I can remember at one point I, I I happened to be on the entrance to this aircraft carrier, and uh, the auto and the Autodesk guys were trying to get everyone on this boat. And the guys, the the Navy guys that ran the aircraft carrier, were saying like, no one else can come on, no one else can come on. And and then I can always remember this Autodesk executive saying. You, you evacuated Viet fucking Nam on this thing. You can get more people on it, I'm sure. <laughs> I remember that. It was a huge deal trying to get tickets for that thing as well. I think I got some through Seabass or somewhere like that at the time. I never got on. I was yeah. there. No, it sounds, it sounds like we're coming out the court. I've actually got, I've, I'll have to dig them out. I've actually got some videos of that, Simon, if you want to reminisce. I think <laughs> I've got later, some video, but, uh, videos from that party on the carrier. But I never got any food. <laughs> oh oh yeah, well, food wasn't there. But I don't think it was about well, food. Oh my god, that in, really freaked me out. Into... Zap. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I was like, what the hell what happened? happened? <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it's the full stereo so, MC. So Zap has gone full. Zap. Who invited Thanos? Come out of his party. <laughs> and... It's a spot the guy with the sound system. I think it is, isn't it? It's like... <laughs> But to get a little bit on track about what I was talking about was mm. that I can remember SIGGRAPH was great, but it was way over my head. You know, it was, um, there was, the floor was really interesting. And I went to a couple of the talks and I was like, I just, just didn't understand what they were talking about. It was ILM and all these guys talking about subsurface scattering and stuff that's just not interested in for me personally. But I do remember, what? um, Jeff the had most exciting thing, thing, thing in the world. <laughs> Jeff, am I right in saying that? I think that's I think we're about that debate. Oh, Wait, hang on. Let, let me carry on with the story. So what I do okay. remember is that we had the, the um, Jeff did the CG Architect uh, conference immediately afterwards in San Diego, and I can remember it. It was brilliant. And uh, my favorite memory of that was, um, I think it was getting extremely drunk with everybody <laughs> from Chaos Group, and they introduced uh, San Diegans to the... Uh, their way of getting drunk, which was, I can remember it was pretty hardcore, but yeah, it was a whole bunch of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Really that was, that was a good time at really those events. Real that was, that was the first, uh, well, the first Viz event ever. And, uh, I mean, it was a full catered event. I mean, we had like the full sit down dinner and yeah, and, I remember uh, open bar and yeah, it was, it was a good time. Did you I have roast you pig? Be looking quite harried for most of the time. Jeff. I think it's, it's, it's really interesting what you were saying about SIGGRAPH though, not being particularly good home for ArcViz because I mean I know certainly Jeff and I went to a couple before that and it, we definitely had that feeling and I think that's probably why Jeff you kind of went a different route with the awards and split it off because I think the original intent was that you tie it into SIGGRAPH and then that you, you kind of after that one year we realized that wasn't going to work and took it on from that. Yeah, I mean, very early on, there were a lot more people because there were not really a lot of events in the industry back then. So mm. a lot of people did come to SIGGRAPH. So at the time, it made sense. But yeah, to, in today's climate and, you know, the way the industry is now, that yeah, it definitely doesn't make any sense to have it with SIGGRAPH anymore. But uh, it was fun while it lasted. There was one year where we held it. I don't know if you guys remember it. We had it at the uh, uh, Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, which is actually where the Academy Awards used to be held before they are in the, the Kodak Theater now. So it wasn't in the same space as the uh, the awards, uh, obviously, but in the same building. So that was kind of cool. But I think it's great that the, the, the communities we have now, like the SOA Academy and D2, are actually now proper communities in the way. I mean, one or two one offs, something like the 3D Festival was good and the early. 3D awards it had that kind of small community sense that things were moving forwards, and actually, we kind of lost that for a while, and it seems to have come back. And actually, I think the the COVID crisis actually brought people together again online in a in a much more coherent way. It seems like everybody's actually communicating a bit more now. Actually, kind of rather bizarrely, because we're all kind of stuck indoors and not getting out so much. It actually seems like there's a bit more of an effort actually going into bringing people together and actually more of a sense of community emerging from that, perhaps over the last 18 months or so. I don't know, how do you feel about that, 
Jeff. I mean, obviously, because you, you've done lots of surveys about this as well. So, I mean, I'm kind of interested in what what the results from that were in your in your opinion too. Yeah, I mean, I think I saw in the early, it must have been, you know, when did we all mostly lock down started roughly in March and stuff. I think mm -hmm. I saw more YouTube channels and podcasts start up in those first three weeks than I probably saw in the 20 years previous. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's cool, though, because, you know, you start to see everybody in the community all kind of getting together and they and took my job. Me. Yeah, they took your job. <laughs> <laughs> Some crazy Nobody can replace you, Fabio. Streaming music. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza duvets are never going to be the same again. <laughs> when, when did you start streaming music? Uh, yeah, it was basically in May, I think. It was like, okay, I can't go anywhere. This is like, and like, I need to do something and I need something for my mental health. And I had all the equipment. I, I've been doing music for, you know, decades. But in 2008, I had this big thunderstorm that broke all the equipment. And I used to be in mechanical CAD software, which wasn't very creative. So I used the music as like the outlet for my creative side. But by then I was working, you know, in CG and rendering and subsurface scattering, which is awesome. And <laughs> that then, you know, I get my creative side there. So music was kind of, ah, eh, well, the stuff is broken. So I blah, don't have the energy. But now, late, I basically, this is the stuff I have around me, stuff I resurrected because I never sold anything or I just have everything in a pile where half of it was broken. And now I've taken out all the goodies from it and uh, using it again because it's fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Go. Cool. And then I have smoke and lasers and stupid stuff because I'm a stupid person. Well, it, it's, it's very festive. It is. Oh, you don't I have know. your lasers on at the moment, though. I, I have a few, oh, but yeah, I'm, a few. I'm, I'm ramping up. I will also turn on my, my blinking T-shirt eventually, but not yet. It's too early for that. <laughs> Jeff, getting back to your survey, what, what, what were the results? I mean, because I mean, everybody I know seems to have taken on a, a kind of serious hobby or, or resurrected one that they, they had previously, but perhaps didn't really devote too much time to it. I mean, I know you didn't really directly approach that in your survey, but you obviously talked to lots and lots of people. I mean, lots of, I mean, the, the thing that struck me is like how many art viz guys are actually closet musicians, actually yeah. sort of played in bands and did all sorts of other stuff. I mean, there's loads of albums. I mean, I think Rodrigo Lopez from The Escape, I think he put an album out on Spotify a couple yep. of weeks back and things like this. I mean, it's just amazing how all this stuff, uh, the, this sort of creative urge comes out in other ways. During a time yeah, I think like if this. you looked in the background on the 24 hours of chaos stream, I think we counted at least 50 guitars and half of them <laughs> oh, were really? release, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> that and uh, the one thing I noticed, and, I, and I'm guilty as well, is everybody got into growing things. Uh, you know, I, whether it's lettuces or, or peppers or. Well, or well, Jeff, do you want to touch on that? Because I'm really confused <laughs> what's going on there. It's, 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 so you've got this big, big hydroponic set up you've you've got on side it's aquaponic, aquaponic meaning there's fish. Yeah. yeah yeah so i i have a big koi pond in my backyard and in the winter uh my pond's not deep enough so i have to bring the koi inside so um long story short to absorb nitrates you need plants or a bigger tank and i don't have room for a bigger tank it's already 500 gallons in my basement so uh i needed plants so i decided i was going to uh grow plants to suck up these nitrates but um yeah so but now i'm growing lettuce i have a two giant tomato plants right now there's no uh, fruit on them yet but yeah so i'm growing tomatoes in my basement so uh, uh, can you grow dates jeff <laughs> you mean le legally in canada we can uh, uh yeah, i haven't even growing lettuce for sure yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna tomatoes. go for lettuce. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's lettuce. Gone the devil's yeah. lettuce. Yeah. So, <laughs> so legally, bulb on his head. Let's, let's suffer that thing. Legally, you know, I, we can grow four plants uh, with you know without getting a special license. So I, really big. I, so, yeah. I noticed something else about this uh, <laughs> lockdown uh, as well, and I want to do an informal poll right here of all the people here who got a dog. I know Josh did. <laughs> oh no! No, I didn't get a dog. I've got a dog. We've yeah, but did you dog. get one during the lock no, during no. the COVID? Okay, I've seen a few. I got one. But you got one. Yeah, and did we you? got a dog. What did you get? <laughs> ah, a little mutt, you know, a little white mutt, but super cute. I don't cute. believe that. I don't believe He's that. He's really fun. It's a poodle, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. What's on that? 
So I can see a job in the near future when we all have to start going back to the office is going to be a dog walker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think there's, there's something in that. 20 quid an hour. All these new dogs. Yeah, Josh, how's the dog thing going? I, I've missed the conversation, but it's true. I have a new dog. The dog's amazing. Um, <laughs> my third child, the most yeah, well exactly. <laughs> <That's so great. laughs> She's a Labrador, so she just looks guilty all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you look at her, she's like, what have I done? <laughs> So you know, I had like mysterious random things from the house just disappeared because it's been eaten. I don't know, like, like I've known a few labs and some of them have been completely insane. And I don't know if it comes a little bit later, but she seems particularly normal. In fact, beyond normal, she's like a super dog. Well, that's great. Our dog likes to eat books. Um, like it eats anything plastic. It loves to chew on wires and headphones yeah, like, and I'm electronics. So and some we have a clean house now all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to keep it from happening. Brilliant. Um, listen, what, what have I missed over the last 10 minutes, by the way? Is it dogs? <laughs> we talk dogs. We talk and growing um, marijuana. Growing pot in Canada. <laughs> Um, I think I, I was trying to steer it around towards the, of course, all this you know, what, have, what, have, what have this. people been That's doing during lockdown outside of work, really, and, and the strategies people have to, to get through if, if, if you're not that busy or perhaps if you are and you still need to kind of get out there, what, what people's hobbies were. Yeah, which is good, generally speaking, I think. That's a surprising thing. I voice of reason on this channel anymore. Oh, sorry, I'll stop now. No, back to, I like back to Simon. It. Well, I was going to bring the, the other guys in on, because we've sort of talked about the Academy Days tomorrow. Um, let's talk about next week. The, what's yeah. happening with the D2 Christmas. Oh, wow, that's one as well, isn't it? It's true. The Borat special. It's, yeah. <laughs> the, holi the D2 Holiday Time Spectacular is what we're calling it. It's a simple little meeting. Now, it's going to be, uh, it's very hush-hush. We don't, we're not saying who's talking. So you have to go and watch it, see who's there. It's just going to be for fun, for the community. Um, we, we're, we don't even have any, we didn't have any sponsors, anything. We just want to do it. And uh, it's our gift, you know, our little holiday gift. We're just there to have some fun. Fabio, what would you say? Yeah, the, you you said it all. You know, it's like you can come up with your own excuse that you're busy and that you're going to a gala into the living room. We're at home. It's for free, so there is no uh, nothing that you have to do. Just tune in, come and see us. We have prepared something for you guys. We're I'm gonna leave on Sunday to go to Vienna, so that Jason and I. We'll be together broadcasting this from Vienna and it will be a lot of fun and it will be a very cool way to wish each other happy holiday and, you know, hopefully go into 2021 without a nuclear explosion or something because I was like, I realized today that 2021, the 21, it's actually 12 like reversed and so maybe the maya <laughs> thing <laughs> I, I, I think we know where the pot has been grown <laughs> yeah wow well, what, what's, i've eaten that what, what's just taken place at the at the cg architect awards that we don't know about <laughs> man this was beautiful it was fun <laughs> it was beautiful you should have been there it was emotional I was there I was no we were all watching there. it Oh, you were? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I am high. All right, I'm going to mute we myself were. before I, I make even more damage to my already brilliant figure. Yeah, but anyway, I'll just end that by saying it'll be three days, 9th through 11th, uh, for two hours in the evening, so two speakers each day. Simple. Uh, we hope to see uh, but when you say a lot of evening, people there. What time are you talking from 6, <laughs> 6 to, to 8 p.m. Uh, Vienna time, so Central European time. 5 o'clock in the UK. Yeah. 5, 4, the UK and uh, Eastern Europe, but anyway, I'll 7 to 9. Well, don't you think it's quite special then that this December kicks off with 
the CG Architect Awards, and, and there's literally something happening, well, through the whole of the month. That's cool. Beautiful. I think it's that, it's you a know, pretty like, good way for the ArcVis industry to finish 2020. I think it's almost that, like know, it was planned. <laughs> 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 I think that people realize now more than ever the importance of like getting together. There is so much stuff that is happening at the moment that people cannot make any sense of. That's beautiful. I think that, you know, um, what's going on in the industry and the fact that a lot of companies are acting in very desperate ways. <laughs> And I think it is up to people like us to, you know, the guys that saw us at D2, you guys at 3DS, to continue the conversation, to unify the voices and to promote a positive discussion about what it is our profession. Because, again, we don't have to forget that we are privileged in the fact that we're able to do what we like and what we love. There are some other people that find themselves in this industry out of necessity, um, desperate necessity. They say in England that a tide brings all the boats up. And so trying to promote a professional positive conversation can help others to get out of their uh, misery and unhappiness. And so Thank you to anyone who has got together during this month under the, this period of festivity to sort of like promote this positivity. Absolutely. Plus, plus you'll get to see what we're wearing for the Christmas special. No, no, no spoilers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying anything. But if you want to see, you have to come and you have to come check it out. <laughs> is, it a, is it a Christmas colored lumber, lumberjack shirt? Because... <laughs> Lumberjack shirt. <laughs> like, like what you're wearing there? Because uh, you've got one. <laughs> yeah, you're blending I'm, in getting, with I'm getting custom. I'm not going to need it after tonight. <laughs> no, no, no spoilers. You fit right in Canada. Yeah, but I, I second what Fabio said, and I, I look forward to seeing, uh, to, 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 seeing to, to being at the event the next two days uh, at SOA. <laughs> Um, and then hope to see everyone uh, next week as well. So, also, Jess will be. Oh. Is that you, Fabio? No, <laughs> that, that's my stomach. Um, yeah, Jess will be providing the maple syrup cookies. <laughs> yeah, the cr the Canadian crack. Oh man! Guys, since since we are all here, you know, uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to, to thank to Jason, Fabio, and Christian of D2, and Jeff for, uh, for your support, guys, at the Academy Days. I believe that it's been very important for, uh, for the industry and for, uh, for the community, uh, generally speaking, that we can do something together and to promote, as Fabio, as Fabio said, a positive message across all the industry, but also to help people who are suffering the pandemic. So I take the 3DS London as an opportunity to say thank you, really, I really appreciate that. And I really hope that in the future there should be this, uh, uh, this um, idea of cooperation because we we strongly believe that we cannot go through this without helping each other and uh, and, and make it better so i i was watching the the awards and they have been so so nice so i i know understand jeff when you told me that you were working a lot for them so but the outcome was very impressive so Really, really congratulations, guys. I mean, you have done such a nice, such a nice event. Really looking forward to your event uh, this week. Not next week, as I, as I incorrectly <laughs> posted uh, all over social media. <laughs> and uh, thanks for leading the charge, uh, you know, and bringing everybody together this year. It's, uh, it's awesome. Really, uh, really happy to, to be uh, part Thank you, Giampiero, for, for, uh, for saying this. And uh, of course, you know, um, Again, um, after a 
catastrophe, there is always sort of like a rebirth, and maybe this will yeah. be um, one way for all of us to start moving forward yeah. again. And yeah. I did not mention anything about the pandemic because I think that Nigel made it a rule that we should not do it during the 3DS because uh, so, oh, okay. it, it may make people sad. <laughs> it's like we pretend <laughs> like it didn't happen. Although, you know, we got you families know, affected, we got friends. Uh, you well, know, I'm, I'm really they, looking they, forward to it. They, they, they invited the wrong person, which is me right now. Because, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm supporting ICFC against COVID. So this yeah. is something. Jump Piero no, also Nigel. say that uh, thank you, you know, for for uh, what you are doing. And uh, we're also happy, you know, we're happy to help. So well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, actually, because I've never had the privilege of actually getting over it. I've, each year I've kind of, you know, for whatever reason, I've not actually managed to make it there in person. So actually, this is the best thing for me because I can now see some of what it's about. And like, you know, obviously, me and John Piero used to work together back in the day. And I was just yes. so impressed with what you've achieved since. And so I'm really thank looking you. forward to seeing what, what it's about. Yeah, Alex. I mean, we, we were working. We were working a lot. Oh, sorry, you need pizza for it to work. You definitely need pizza to get full experience. Well, yeah, I can do pizza here. It won't be as good as it is in now, Venice, obviously. Um, but like, Fabio I can get into the spread. Fabio and I have a little bit of history with uh, Italian food, and he thinks I'm some kind of heathen for uh, using a. What did I? What did I let my son? You you I, cut oh, the spaghetti. spaghetti yeah, spaghetti. People oh, like you belong in the eighth circle of hell, which is <laughs> a circle that doesn't exist. That will make it for you, man. Fabio, oh, it's, only, it's, it's only Italians who go to the eighth circle of hell anyway. That's Dante, isn't it? Fabio, am, am I okay to use a knife and a fork with pizza, or do I have to use my hands like you guys? <laughs> you know, I right. think next year <laughs> we've got to do cooking. I tell you what, when I have a Domino's or, you know, like an American, you know, a good pizza, I always use my hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know. Listen, cooking. listen, I'm, I'm running Yo, out of dish. Pizza on my YouTube channel, next will be like cooking. I'll start with the sour, uh, sourdough, because everybody's talking about it. You know, everybody wants a slice of it. Then there will be burgers and hopefully maybe third, fourth episode, it will be pizza. Okay, all right, okay, I'm, I'm waiting. Bad. No, you gotta get your priorities. It's gotta be pizza first, surely. Is, is Fabio, is that the yeah, kind of thing? <laughs> I can't, uh, Fabio, I can name the top three pizzas I've ever had in my life. Uh, um, one was, they're all in Italy. Pineapple, right? Yeah. They're all in Italy. So Pineapple. don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> pizza. Hawaiian. Hawaiian pizza. I so had a really, really good one in New York once. Really good. But it wasn't as good as anything I've had in Italy. So no worries. You guys are still winning. Good. I'm happy to hear. I saw in Sweden there was a kiwi fruit pizza. Uh, what? I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> like it was worse than pineapple. With anchovies. No, it's just, just <laughs> wrong on all levels. I reckon that Fabio would leave the channel in an instant. I, I distance <laughs> myself from that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your duvet. <laughs> but let me jump in here with the... Just, I just want to bring up the, um, the D2 challenges that finished last week. Oh, that and was then awesome. you guys, you guys the said the other amazing. day that they're not going to kick off till possibly February. Is that correct? That's correct. We're working with, um, I cannot tell you, to other people, to other with other people to bring you some new challenges. We are already like they're in the pipeline already. We're having meetings and we're talking to collaborators to make this a little bit more challenging to sort of like cross disciplines with other um, sorts of like, I'm already saying too much. Don't, don't uh, say anything. It'll, it'll be <laughs> nice. Shut up, man. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. He didn't give away anything. Um, the, the work this year was, but what are you going to do with this body of work that, that has been created all year? And because, it's it's phenomenal. Well, I mean, we're going to start a visualization business and use all those images uh, on the website. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> excellent. 
<laughs> stock and, images. And I'm taking them it's to in the, AI. It, it's in the terms and conditions. I mean, yeah. it's right there. <laughs> Need a visual compendium. It's like it's funny because today my uh, my annual copy of this Spectrum came through, which is like what the science fiction and fantasy artists all across the states and across the world try to get their work into this every year. And then, I mean, Ballistic Publishing used to do one, and I think it was like Expose. I'm not sure whether that's yeah, still going or not anymore. Um, no, but you know, no, the, 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 but, but, that, but that's like a general CG thing anyway. Um, but I mean, there's no reason. I mean, there's surely a big enough community of us now we could do something similar. We'd like to do that, yeah. Alex. I mean, I think that's the ultimate that, goal. Oh, I'm not a publisher. I wouldn't have a clue where to start, but I mean. Uh, Alex, sorry, what was that, Spectrum? Spectrum, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's been going, it's like number 27. So it's 27 years. We've got every single one so far. I've got so, one or two, but I'm not rich enough to have every single one. But um, yeah, amazing work in there. Now, if you buy them every year, then they're, they're not that expensive, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> you know, if, you, if, you try, if you try to get some of the early ones now, they're really expensive because like they're out of print. But like, but if you did it year by year, which I kind of have been because I'm kind of ancient these days, like then, yeah, no problem. It's not, it's not particularly expensive to buy them. So, Bobby and Jason, putting you on the spot, what was your favorite challenge of the year? Well, are you are you referring to also the ones that Fabio started, like with oh, his, the whole on his oh, channel? Yeah, yeah because it's we've only done car, two. Sorry? I was going to say it's going to be the car. Wasn't the car the first one? Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one, yeah. I think I think I have two personally the car and the Star Wars one. Car the car is definitely a, a favorite of mine as well for some reason yeah. it really sticks out there. I, I don't know maybe because it was so low tech and so raw back then, you know. Can, you can we get, get I, I lost so many weeks because now. of that car competition. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know the funny <laughs> thing is that the funny thing is that I started to make like I'm not really good at modeling and one thing that I wanted to do during the pandemic was like okay I'll challenge myself I try to make it's, a car it's model. It's the wonky wheel it's that one wonky wheel on the car that really just drives at home Fabio have you have you got good wheels in all the cars now? No but that's the thing I mean 3ds Max users they had the car so the the wheel so squished that was a Somebody's sharing. Oh, oh, right, Alex. Alex. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I love it, Alex. I yes. love it. Wait a second. Did you model the interior? <laughs> yeah, I did, I did I the whole damn the thing. I, it's, the, it's a weird one because I started it like about five years ago and I got as far as the wheels. And, and then <laughs> I, I, saw, and I saw Fabio's model and I thought, shit, I've really got to finish mine. <laughs> and, and it took me like like four or five weeks or something, but I got there in the end. But it's like Alex, you know, it's still not progressed from the last three months when we last saw you. No, I haven't yeah, touched yeah. it because I've just been busy. I haven't had, really had a chance, and also because I got it to that stage, and it's kind of like yeah, I had a few ideas, but I've not really. I, I kind of really wanted to animate it, but I kind of just have. I kind of just stalled on it a bit, really. So that's fair enough. When I get a bit more time, I'll I, get back into it. So I'm not boasting because it's nowhere near as good as yours, Annex, but I put a car for free on YouTube. Oh. About, it was about 15 years ago, I think. I'm going to talk about this. And, yeah, this, uh, this is brilliant. And uh, it had something like 15,000 downloads because I just put it on there for free. <laughs> um, and then they changed, they they took it off. Fabio Squid took it off because I put my email address uh, in the picture or something. So so now I'm... I'm really on the number busy. plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Something stupid like that. But, um, I, you know, it was. I think it was two thousand and two, and I was like, "Wow, I am. I am getting." I mean, my son was. Oh, YouTube started in two thousand and five. He's talking uh, about Turbo Squid. Turbo Squid. Oh, all right. You got to. Yeah, you got to. You got to share it now. So that. So I had two. One was G Max. I don't know if anyone remembers what that yeah, was. Oh, G Max. They've left the G Max one up there, but yeah, they 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 thought the three D Max one was off. So what I now have to do, and I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm really good at hit, hitting deadlines. I'm really good at it. I'm very proud that I've never missed one ever. Um, however, if it's personal work, I just, I just, I work on it like crazy for maybe a couple of weeks, and I never finish them. I never ever finish them. Um, so I gotta, I gotta get on it and uh, do a car. Um, and seeing yours is um, very exciting. I, I was determined to get it finished at once I started. Yeah. And it was also kind of like, 
I used it really as a kind of training exercise. Like I kind of revisited all the YouTube channels to find out how to rig it, to actually sort of get on top of all the poly modeling, all the stuff that I very rarely use during the day-to-day -day work. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, just kind of, I was quite impressed about how you're pulling stuff about uh, out about the suspension and engine that I don't even know where you found this information from. Oh, the internet even, is a wonderful thing, dude. Yeah, well, yeah, you no, probably spent more time researching on the internet. I say researching on the internet. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's just one of those things that uh, when I went, when we went into lo lockdown back in March, my initial thought was like, oh, shit, we're going to have no work on. And it's like, okay, I need to get some constructive stuff together. Because otherwise, I'm just going to waste it. Like, Thank God you're not researching vaccines, is what I'm going to say, Alex. Well, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I have no history in biology whatsoever. It'll be like, thorough, though. But, but I just thought, and, and the... And Fabio's competition was the idea of Spur because I'd had this job that I'd started kind of myself about five years ago. I think like a guy called Thomas Serland had a website full of yeah. blueprints for all cars, planes, you name it. And I downloaded the blueprints for this car ages ago and I, I made a start modeling it. It turns out actually that his blueprints were crap. <laughs> that they actually relate to the, the Moonwalker video that Michael Jackson did. And that's actually a replica. It's not anything like the original car. So I, I started off on like that and then I got all these photos off on, online and I tried to match the photos to sort of add the detail and I was like, this is just not right. There's something terribly wrong here. And it turns out it was two, two completely different cars. So yeah, there was a lot of research, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of watching videos actually. It was when I first started using YouTube actually to research stuff, like how things are put together and all the rest of it. And so it's been a, been a really good exercise for me. But second time around the lockdown, I've actually been quite busy. So I've not had a chance to kind of drop into something with quite so much intensity, maybe. Yeah. Well, it no. is really related, but I was, um, so, I, so I'm a big, a big car fan um, and I really like old cars. I prefer sort of classic mm -hmm. cars. And uh, talking about Serlin's uh, blueprints, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but I was watching a, a channel recently and there's a lot of new companies and they're, and they're putting EV, um, powertrains in oh yeah yeah there's some uh, really good videos on those actually really exciting but yeah. what's amazing is they're using um 3d scanners so they're basically uh, and i think they're quite expensive i, I would love one but i think they're quite pricey but they, they basically take the old engine out 3d scan the engine bay um and then bring it in i think they're using most of them seem to be using fusion 360 or something to put it in um, but there's some really um uh, when you start thinking about what outside of ArchViz, what you can use 3D for, there's some really amazing opportunities there, definitely. Do you think um, uh, maybe they're using the new 3DS Max uh, re to apologize tool that's been announced today, which looks incredible? Oh, is it? I, oh, I haven't that. seen that. Go on, tell us all about it. Um, it looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you basically, yeah, you, basically that when you, you, take really, you take a really crap model and then you press one button and then hey presto uh it turns into a beautiful quad mesh well oh, yeah they've had a there's been a there's been a plugin for quad remesher for a while i think because oh, yeah, really I, I looked at and I, also there's been a lot of blurb about the blender version recently as well which yeah, I but if you try blender i had to say that oh, well, yeah, yeah, come on, come blender on. man <laughs> speaks <laughs> this is where it all falls apart um <laughs> I, I was going to suggest that isn't it about time that um, Simon you make a drink and Zap does the accompanying. Oh, no, it's free. Well, I just bought that. I just, I just bought oh, that. Is, is this week's from the fairy godmother as opposed to the Godfather last time? It's Christmas time. You can chat. I'll go and get what I need, and then I'll come back and explain what I'm doing. Okay. Zap, yeah. have we lost you? you... I w no, no, no. I can still hear there? I'm still here. I'm still right um, here. Did you have anything to follow? Oh shit, it's, the, it's not a horse, it's a cat. Sorry, I was looking yeah, at the video a, and thinking, what's that weird, this, like, uh, it's a 3DS Max, um, what's this baby, baby on a horse thing? On a yeah. away from the, the big <laughs> bag, is especially this, is designed this for whole, Is this oh, whole chaos whole that thing. we're having I'm just instead on, of a I'm party? Right. Because normally we'd be having a big December party at the moment rather than yeah. a, rather than an actual kind of meetup and presentations and stuff. So, um, well, last year it was at Haynes Davidson which Olga organized, um, which was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, where, where does that go? Zach, <laughs> wasn't, Zach, wasn't Zach going to talk about quad remeshing or something? Oh, if you, so I'm the rendering guy. 
I don't know anything about geometry. I get geometry from other people and then I render them with like subsurface scattering and interesting things. Okay. So I don't know. I think there's polygons and they can be like three things and four things. I think they're called quads and triangles. So is this My a new there. is this a new service pack for Max then? That this is yes, included? it's it's oh, okay. update three. That uh, apparently okay. was just released. So it contains the new remesher thingamajig, which we've mm -hmm. been apparently working on for a long time. But this is Mar if you talk to Martin Coven or maybe even Tom Hudson or some of these guys. They do that and they are in a different corner than I am. Obviously I'm in my own corner in Sweden. Oh, yeah. So, so, but, uh, I, I kind of don't pay much attention to the, the geometry stuff because I kind of don't care because I don't model when I model in max, I make teapots, uh, every model I make. Well, actually I made a robot once also, but beyond that, uh, teapots. So there's a lot of developer art for me. It's probably teapots are downloaded from somewhere. So. I, I reckon the I reckon the Maxwell guys they rendered a teapot nicer than anyone, didn't they? Back in the day, remember those Ooh. teapots like leaning over and climbing walls and all sorts of stuff. That was really beautiful stuff. Glander, we are monkey head. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> See what? Monkey <laughs> head. Oh my God, the right. Hey, we, we, we're overdosing Fabio on Max talk here. Yeah, and he's got ape shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody's mentioned Blender for ten minutes. <laughs> Blender, the community makes plugins. <laughs> oh, I need a top up. Right. Oh, oh, man, I'm a troll. Fabio, don't you have a vertex to weld or something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fabio, have you managed to get all four wheels on the car correct in a uh, Blender model yet? Listen, you can only okay, do low poly right on, now. On purpose, okay? I only do low poly now. And no, <laughs> only colors, no materials. I'm only SDS now. You paint everything by each pixel individually. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> nice. What is that, Alex? Is it that... says it's Abbeydale Moonshine. 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 Uh, it's only 4.3%, well, so it should be uh, safe. So, so they say. Like, God, it's even got a seal. It looks like so in the that, that, uh, that uh, Alex is doing the, um, the, the cocktail for the evening. Yeah, well, no, yeah. no, no, right? <laughs> yeah. the original, no. The original plan was when I heard what the date was to do it actually down the pub. But unfortunately, my local doesn't serve food, so it's not open. Can it's you just, like, is that so like, no, what? this is this is real L. This is like a real L coming in a plastic container. I think yeah, but it was it's yeah, fresh today. It, it was in a barrel two hours ago. Um, okay, uh, Alex, you're definitely can we get some accompanying to... music to for Good. a delicious looking pint? I can try. Alex, you definitely need to give us a two minute breakdown on your ale, please. On your well, no, the the, the, previ ale. The, the previous two pints I was drinking was a uh, stout, which I believe uh, somewhere on here I have nine percent. No, 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 it's not. It's, uh, it's <laughs> not because I wouldn't still be talking. 4.1% for Chopper Stout, that was. And then this one is the Moonshine Pale Ale, which is 4.3 uh, from Abbeydale Brewery, wherever that is. <laughs> we'll give it a quick sip. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. It's very, very smooth, slightly hoppy, fruity flavour. Yeah, that's You're very making me one. thirsty. I want some of that. Like, yeah, no, it's very nice. I have another one, <laughs> which is a weird fruity concoction as well. So, uh, but I haven't started on that yet. We'll see. But is this meant to last a week? It's going to be one night. No, 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 no. I, 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 I well, I, I ordered eight pints. My wife's already had one as well. So, like, um, uh, if I get through that tonight, I won't be having any problems sleeping. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Is that stuff in the background on his? Um, yeah, it's good. yeah, I can admit. It's the bear talk. I mean, what threw me? There was no, there was no slap bass in there, so it's kind of like. Yeah. Did Simon have, have to go to the store? Yeah. yeah, I was waiting for the thud, but he put it on mute. Yeah, Simon's had to go to the like to... supermarket. Wait for the store, yeah. with Simon. <laughs> he's, having he, he's, 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 he's looking for the amaretto that he finished last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, even... shit, it's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> not even start him on that again. <laughs> I have some absinthe around here. Oh, but... yeah. Oh, excellent. No. I'll get it out then. It will be really bad. That could get you really, got, got that so could many get really interesting, there, though. Just watching you. The demise of Zap. Uh, yes. I wanted is to point out, someone, someone asked uh, 
wants to ask John Piero on the in the chat uh, when the round when will the Zoom link uh, be ready for? It's gonna be ready tomorrow at the 1 p.m. Uh, on on the website 1 p.m. local time. So by 12. Yeah. yeah, I just I just had a look at the chat and I just wanted to yeah, throw that sorry. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm I'm not reading the chat. No, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody was. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Hey Nigel, do you mind if I make a really shameless two two thirty second plug? Absolutely. Yeah. That be quiet. No, no, he can he can play oh, you he can play through it. He can play okay. through it. Okay. Um, I, while the 3D awards were going on, and this is something that we've been working on for three months, but while the 3D awards uh, were going on, a new competition was just launched uh, in partnership with Lenovo, NVIDIA, Chaos Group, Kitbash, and CG Architect. I'll just post a link there in the chat. I don't know if that goes to everybody here. I just pasted it in the chat, but it's called uh, Building Utopia. We'll move that across, as, uh, Jeff. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll copy that across. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's... Uh, you, you download this environment, you're going to use uh, Chaos Group's, um, what was formerly called Lavina and is now called, um, why can I never name, Vantage is now the new name officially. Uh, okay. But it's a competition using Vantage to design a okay. uh, utopian world. So you download this scene <coughs> to de develop your own world here. So Does that cool. mean I have to wait till February till I get my graphics card? Yeah, well, exactly. Shit. Maybe. Does Vantage <laughs> work in Blender? Everybody's got an awesome it's a, question. It's a, it's a CPU <laughs> renderer, though, isn't it? The uh, advantage. Uh, it's, it's, uh, things are tricky at the moment. GPU, if you're GPU, after sorry, a, yeah. they're tricky at the moment, Alex. If you're after a uh, well, that's card. kind of what I was getting at, really. Because, like, if you want any of the new range of either AMD or NVIDIA, basically, you're waiting until February unless you get it as part of a pre-built system. Or you believe it or you pay, or on or you pay a scalper for it. Yeah. Well, Craziness. yeah, which I'm not going to do. So. Jeff, is there, is there a difference between advantage and an advantage? You talk to Chaos Group, I don't know. Can we, can we mute Zach, <laughs> or does he have to mute I've himself? I've put a, um, I've put a link to... Um, I have Zach. Link to, you know, can we give a little... Is there, is there a little text book that I can copy over there as well? Yeah, cool, cool. So, yeah, so the call for submissions opens today, and, and there it ends uh, in 53 days is when the call for submissions is. So. Some really cool prizes from everybody so take a look when you get a chance so yeah that's all i had to say just wanted to throw um, you can you can win a gpu so in case you can't buy one you can win one a quadro so, it's a, so I'm, go, I'm gonna say out loud i'm gonna say out loud jeff because i put a link on youtube earlier to that fascinating article i read about um covid actins and it didn't come up so i think youtube recognizes links and gets rid of them but it is um building utopia dot cgarchitect.com so it's building yeah. utopia dot cgarchitect.com yeah i can confirm as well I've, uh, I've got more than one computer here and i can see that the link did not come through on the second yeah, computer i think i think they're they they block links but uh, we'll put it on without the link stuff um pretty easy to find here maybe next i can give away a gpu <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh. It's not a. It's not we'll a PlayStation Four with it, Fabio. <laughs> Fabio, so you have a PlayStation Three. Someone please take my five, PlayStation Four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fabio, did you move into a really, really small apartment? I feel like you're selling off because you don't have room for anything anymore. <laughs> I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away. <laughs> it's because it doesn't work. It doesn't work in Blender. <laughs> no, I'm trying to become. It's to make minimalist. space for the new massive PS Five. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm becoming a minimalist and Train so, with a Bosch oven. And so I have to make space for um shoes? No, for uh for Pineapples? All, all <laughs> my shoes. Yeah. Ah. Collection. Oh, so now that's the real background, Fabio. Daddy. We're actually in your we you you you're presenting live from your shoe closet. <laughs> exactly. People, people middle think names that I live in a closet, but the thing is that I, I got to the point where I have too many shoes that my wife said, okay, you're now keeping them in your own room. <laughs> you can keep them I in don't your blame own hermetically sealed blame room. You're, you're very welcome. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, this is Switzerland. It's, it's very normal to go into a place that smells like fondue. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Fabio, <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> 
I'm in Switzerland. Yeah, it's in I'm Switzerland. Italy. It's not. It's not in Genoa, Italy. Well, I didn't I mean, know that. You haven't, I thought you you haven't watched Italy. any of my videos lately, have you? No. You've got to keep up, Sai. No. He moves around a lot. Oh, I didn't know he was in Switzerland. No. Yes. Well, well done. Fantastic. What were we what? talking about? Yeah, we, 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 we were talking. We were talking about oh, like uh, the, 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 cheat, the cheaters, basically. Oh yeah. The cheaters in the CG oh, yeah. architecture world. Yeah. Yeah. Um because I mean so, I, I, the reason I brought it up is because the, the D2 challenge last week, the, the belly of the beast, actually the image that really caught my eye and I thought actually maybe should have come first, apart from the fact they maybe didn't use the geometry, was the shark's teeth view with the boats in inside the kind of fish's mouth, which I thought was a gorgeous image and just like compositionally won it hands down in my book until I actually I, I mean I followed the whole process and I I never agree why it didn't get considered, but it kind of and I know that Jeff, you've had this whole ongoing saga about like people kind of gaming the system or what have you. So I'm just kind of curious what the views are at the moment, whether it's getting worse or we're getting it under control or what? No, I don't think it's getting worse. It's probably about the same as it's always ever been. And the very obviously in the beginning, we never had these issues, but you mm. know, as the stakes got higher and the you know the the impacts of winning or being nominated uh became so much more um substantial i think you know the the impetus for people to try to game the system or find loopholes or or even cheat you know gets gets higher um i don't think we've ever really you know not found out about somebody i mean years ago we used to have a public vote um mm -hmm. system and uh right at the very last minute you know i i had noticed these images all kind of really jumping right to the top at the last minute and statistically it was impossible for that to happen and you know what we ended up finding out happening was a a, a well-known studio at the time i don't think they're around anymore um had recruited all of their staff of about 30 or 40 to all register accounts go in and score every single image uh a one and only theirs a 10 and it was enough that it would it pushed their stuff to the top. And of course, we found uh, out and we started okay. tracing the IP addresses of where the votes were coming from. And then we we happened to link that IP to another account that we had in in the main CG Architect database and found out which studio it was. And we approached them about it and they admitted it. And of course, they've been disqualified for life. For, that's, for that's way too much work for you, though, isn't it, Jeff? I mean, yeah. it doesn't really it doesn't really benefit anyone. It just sounds like a complete drama for you that you have to deal with on a Saturday morning when your house is flooding with water <laughs> issues. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, me. it's, it's it's such interesting. It's such an interesting job to do without cheating and stealing other people's work. I mean, and I, I don't even know if there's that much money, and I don't understand why you would bother doing it. It's just rubbish. I mean, surely I it must be. So, I mean, I think it's just the prestige of having even just a nomination. Yeah, but it does, no, it doesn't know, just, but, but the thing is, it doesn't just happen in awards. It happens it's like in terms of procuring Rolex. work. You know, it's no, like when, when, when people Rolex. pitch for jobs, bad, you, right? you know, but it, if somebody pitches for a job, gets it on the basis of using one of your images, which they pass off as their own, then yeah, that's yeah, but good. I don't know. So, so, but Alex, my, I would say, why are they doing that job in the first place? If it's all about money, I mean, I know we're lucky that we we all have a job that we love. It's interesting to do. I just find it very disappointing that that happens. It's, oh, it is I for mean, sure. It's, but it, it's but it, pretty. It's, uh, it's it's not. I wouldn't say it's widespread by any stretch. I mean, I, you know, you run into a couple of people. Well, that's and, good know, to hear. Thousands but, and thousands. But Jeff, and last year it was quite widespread with the whole student category being inundated you know, with um, commercial that's jobs. It. No. It, it's interesting. The, the student category is always the one that causes me the most uh, problem. problem. I think I think it's because, you know, A, they're young. I mean, I remember being 20 and, you know, thinking I knew everything and, and you know, in fact, you don't. Um, you know, and I think you, you just don't really understand or appreciate what the, you know, what the industry is like and what it means to be a professional in industry. So, you know, you, you look for loopholes and things to get ahead. I mean, the, you know, to Simon, your, your question about why do they do it? You know, there's a lot of people who have uh, been nominated and won whose careers have literally been launched on the back of getting that nomination from the exposure. So the the sure. impetus to to try to get that exposure is huge. Yeah. Um, it never, it, you know, wasn't that way in the beginning, but it is now. And um, you know, I think that's why people, you know, do what they they do. But it also means we have to up our game that much more. I mean, we have really sophisticated algorithms in the background that you know look for fraud uh, in in what's happening in the system. And of course, we have lots of systems manual systems i mean there's a 
that whole month that we introduced last, I think last year, um, where we have a review team. So I have a team of anywhere from five to 10 people after the judges pick all of their nominees and we announce the tentative nominees that spend a month, you know, crawling social media feeds, LinkedIn profiles, interviewing friends of people that know the, know the nominees. And we do really, really background checks on everyone to make sure, you know, if they said they, this is, what they did or whatnot, then we know that they did. And, you know, we've uncovered a lot of stuff this way. So I hate doing that. It's not something that is, is I would consider normal for a competition, but, you know, I take the integrity of the words pretty damn seriously. So I, it's yeah. something that. I, yeah. Uh, and it's still not, it's still not enough sometimes because yeah. you yeah. see, uh, there were people who, uh, copied, uh, photographies, uh, yeah. photographs that That's, has, have been published in magazines. And they basically re, re did in CGI the, the photography. So it, it's kind of well, Jeff, I think that, you know, If I can alert you to any kind of problem at all, there was obviously some massive discrepancy in the uh, non-commissioned film. <laughs> <laughs> Taking nothing away from the amazing work by Bertrand Benoit. But, but wow. are, you, are you calling for a recount? <laughs> I'm definitely calling for a recount. <laughs> I've got it's, my top lawyers on the job. Josh, uh, don't concede. It's, don't concede. It's okay, Josh. We we have participation trophies that we've announced this year as well. So, oh, okay. Well, that's fantastic, Jeff. I'm happy to hear that. Do Do you know what? I think you know. Bring, bring you the spotlight back to me. I, I, I've got to <laughs> say that you know, just being nominated for this award is just such an incredible experience, and you know, just so, something that I never really thought would happen. So, yeah. Uh, thank Thank you, judges. Especially Elena. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it was a, it was an honor for me to be to be in the judge in the in the judges uh, through the judges this year. I mean, it's um it's a such a prestigious event for our quiz, and I'm yeah, really it's honored. The it's the most prestigious event. Yes, it's the most prestigious event. So I I was really feeling uh, very uh, humble and. Um, Grateful. Great. Uh, and on yes, that, the uh, work was amazing anyway. So. On that note, I mentioned it during the ceremony, but uh, worth, worth repeating again, um, you know, massive thank you to all the judges because the amount of work that they put in to judge the awards is massive this year. If you add up all the hours, um, it's, and it's about the same every year, it's about 500 hours that our judges spend going through all the images. So it's a huge, huge amount of work. So I have a possibly slightly awkward question here. So I want to know if Jan Piero and Jeff and uh, the other guys have gone. But um, so you guys have been involved in um, uh, pushing forward um, uh, our industry, and I wondered if there was uh, a way that you guys could, when when we all get back together next year, maybe after, maybe sort of midsummer, if we could just have some kind of massive visualization event that everyone gets involved in i think it would be really good fun is that is, is that something that could could happen can uh, we do it tomorrow are you, are you talking in, in in real life or online can i somehow, IRL, Alex, IRL. Can, can yeah, I somehow rope Tomorrow's nigel into organizing it all for example because i'm sure he'd be up for it well then the issue becomes where the hell are you going to have it uh, uh, nigel's uh, victory he's <laughs> like Hey, listen, guys, I've got a cocktail to make. New Zealand. Yes. Okay, just a moment. I, I, will, I wanna uh, introduce some optimism here because uh, today they announced that the one vaccine has been approved. Yes. So this yeah. means that next year we're gonna go back to normal, possibly. I'm gonna, uh, Simon, maybe. I'm gonna answer that question for, for Jeff and Jeff Piero because the answer is obviously yes. And it's just a matter of where we can achieve that on, you know, what's the- We're gonna have it in neutral ground. We can have a massive 3D party on. <laughs> well, actually, gonna, that would I'm take the 20, 24 the hours. Yeah, but take the 24 hours chaos thing. They did that from loads of locations and it worked as a single event. So why not do a similar thing with like a non-commercial partner? Yeah, it could work. It could be really good. I mean, I mean, it's amazing that you've got all of these, everyone together. Yeah, doing absolutely. Kind of uh, absolutely. So tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is going to happen. And uh, for the future, you know, everything is possible. I mean, I'm, 
I'm the one that uh, we, with Jeff and Jason and all the others that I'm working and we are all working a lot to, to cooperate because this, 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 this period we are living, it, it basically tells us that uh, there is just one industry. Yeah. And, uh, and so we need to show to the industry that we, we are just one thing. So it's not impossible. I mean, I'm, uh, I have already replied to this question in the, um, in the previous day to people who approached me asking the same question. And, you know, we, we started with the Academy Days uh, tomorrow. Um, um, let's say we, we, we are starting tomorrow with, with something. Yeah. And, uh, and that's, that something can become something bigger and, uh, and better. I mean, so so I'm going to do my cocktail in a minute. So I'm going to steal some airtime here. But I think one thing that would be particularly interesting for us as an industry to concentrate on is, um, I mean, well, that's quite wrong because um, you know, three the 3DS meetups not necessarily about uh, visualization, but it it has worked out that way that everyone here I think is a visualizer. But I don't want to. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to fight it. I mean, there's a there's a bias there, Josh. Um, but one thing I would find particularly interesting is um, kind of promote our industry to architects because I think architects are you know they're they're a bunch of clever people and they you know they have um, artistic skills themselves as well as technical skills. And I, and I think it would be really good for um, visualization for the visualization industry as a whole to um, to kind of like stick your hand up and say, hey, you know, you know, we don't just make pretty pictures of buildings. You know, we there's a real passion uh, behind what we do as an industry. And if you look at everyone on this Zoom screen right now, no one's here because they're just doing it because it pays the bills. Everyone really loves it and they're passionate about it. And I, you know, from my experience, I think that's sometimes lost on on architect. You know, if I the big problem with that is there isn't a unified front of architects you can present to that they, they, no. so, they are so varied they have like they don't actually subscribe to a single thing so actually no, trying to, I, trying I to get the things, so that to, could get be quite the, um, to get architects to have a look at the um um the the film the commission film category mm. um because you know, I mean, all of the films in there are incredible. And, you know, just to, you know, push my own team, the Aussies are fucking smashing that stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, and like, like I said, I was a CG architect uh, uh, judge last year and the films coming out of Australia were fantastic then. Not just Australia, but Australasia. Thanks, Nigel. Um, but also, you know, the, the student category as well, you know, the films coming out of the student category are incredible as well. And I think the yeah. architecture, you know, yeah. it's, 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 well, I, I, well, I think, well, well, I think well, architects well, architect could learn a lot from, you know, how much narrative can affect a film. And, you know, you, it, it's easy to, be, to, to, it's easy to become, um, a little bit too enthralled about what you want to tell in a in a story uh, as a film, and what actually what's important about the viewer, uh, what's important for the viewer to be looking at. So yeah, before I get even more muddled in my words, no, I, I totally agree with that. But no, it's like, what, what forum? Sort of what forum do you use to actually approach the architects? Well, yeah. the architects well, are so disunited. I mean, we we as a community are actually extremely united. Yes, yeah, it's, so, it's, it's so I've, so I've had the architects are the problem because they're all over the place. I've had a few architects come along to 3GS London and they're like, well, we can't believe you guys all get together and talk about this because architects would never dream of yeah, doing exactly. this. Yeah, um, exactly. But so anyway, I don't want to upset anyone or, or, or create an argument. Well, no, it's not that. Joke, it's just, it's, just just how, that. it's the venue, isn't it? It's like, how do you actually breach that? Because that's the It's issue. not the venue it's, at all. It, it's, it's just... It's, it's just but it, it's just letting it know that you know visualizers really really do care about what they do and there's a so we've been saying that for 20 years 
you're tr you're preaching to the converted Alex. There's no point no. arguing with me. But, well, I'm not, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you. I'm trying to kind of. Not having this I'm to, yet. I'm, All right, I'm let's get on to my to, drink. I'm uh, getting my yeah, drink. Yeah. On. And I'm only drink. I've only drunk beer so far, and I'm already getting a little bit. Which are, which, which oh, are the way he is. <laughs> so right. So last month I made a. I'm gonna part. hang on. I'm gonna make you on speaker view. Right. Okay. Uh, um, that has he not got some intro music for the uh, first cocktail of the evening? I don't. I, I'm not sure it's worth. I'm not sure that's worthwhile, Josh. It's, it's probably not that important. There we go. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so um, uh, I I'm not big on cocktails. I I I pretty much it's vodka, whiskey after a couple of pints, or a Godfather if I'm feeling you know naughty so uh, this month i thought right well i'll look something up and i looked on the internet and i looked up um christmas cocktails and i settled on rum and it was something to do with rum and uh some i can't remember what it was coca-cola and cinnamon and i tried it last night i did a test run and it was revolting it was utterly revolting so i'm gonna go uh here i'm gonna go and show you what i've got so i've got a glass Oh gosh, this is tricky. Sorry, Nikos is laughing at me. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to. Do it. No, no, gla it's, gla it's, glass is important. It's, it's, it's like the first glass. step. You have to have a glass. You've got yeah, a it's glass, a nice right. cut, cut okay. crystal glass as well. It's, right. it's a good glass. It's a good glass. So the original Christmas cocktail, uh, it, it called for rum. So I got, <laughs> I got some rum. <laughs> Who is this lady on the bottle? So this is That's Sailor Jerry. Jerry. Sailor Jerry, which I believe is a it's not particularly expensive but it's a good pretty good we don't, we don't say that it's, it's a good it's a good one right. so it's, it's sailor moon's brother okay Lemon. so last month we did 50 <laughs> 50 uh jack daniels and amaretto so of course this time we're not we've only got one spirit so we need to put a little bit more in than usual so we're going to go about that much rum i'm not sure how much that is The right amount, that's what it is. Enough. It's probably enough. And then uh, yeah. um and then it would be simple just to add some coke to this and call it a day. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go no. straight, we're gonna go crazy. Go crazy bananas. We're gonna oh. use, we're gonna use Dr. Pepper. Oh. Well, I thought it's gonna be oh, iron brew from now. Ouch. <laughs> it's a serious business, there. <laughs> Where do you get Dr. Pepper from? <laughs> but before that, we, we, we need some ice, so we'll stick some ice in. Uh, classic, class. Uh, we need some lime. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And then you pop it up. Uh, classic, class. It's not. It's not fair for Jeff. It's like modern time for him. He's like, oh no, my god, you know drink. I, it is actually uh, almost 2 p.m. and I was actually going to go up and grab my uh, Zikata. So yes, joining. please do it, Jeff. Yeah. Join the club. Jeff, Good. Jeff, I was about to say it's, it's, it's 12 p.m. somewhere. But yes. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's actually it's it's drinking time here now, so I'll, I'll be back. Simon. See you, yeah. Simon. Yeah. So I'm going to call it a, uh, a, cri a, crisp, a Christmas cocktail. <laughs> That's all I can do. Right, hang on. It looks Christmas. Uh, we'll love it. So now we've got a taste test. Ready? Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. That's what I look for. In that's it. It's exactly what Bloody you hell. Uh, that's that's Simon. Obviously watched last right, month. That's not as good as a Godfather. So, so I would recommend you go back to last month and look up a Godfather recipe. Because Simon, much much do you know the it's drink? It's not undrinkable. Trust me. The flaming Dr. Pepper. This is better. Oh, yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> what the heck is a flaming Dr. Pepper? So yeah, they're good. It actually doesn't use Dr. Pepper. It uses amaretto. I saw and that. And you drop I a shot in, you, you light a shot on fire, drop it inside, and then you chug an entire, you chug the entire thing. With and beer, it's, isn't it? It's like a beer. It's like a, yeah. you know, a beer, and then you drop a shot of amaretto. You light the sh amaretto, and you drop it inside, and you drink the whole thing. Is that like one of those <laughs> things on YouTube you see where, like, teenagers are setting themselves on fire, Jason? Oh, well, this is just like a typical night out in college in America. So, um, <laughs> Jason, I, Jason, I have a Flaming Sambucas is the other one. I have a, oh, yeah. 
I have a particular audience and I play to my audience and it's basically just grab a bottle of something and add coke to it. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not setting stuff on fire and what have you. Yeah, got a ready-made one. <laughs> Honestly, I cut, I cut it all out. You know, it's, it's easy. Like Captain Morgan, made one in a can. Yeah, okay. easy. So I don't know what the timestamp is, but go go and have a look at last month's. Uh, yeah, it was yeah much it's still fresh in my mind. Nico's creation is brilliant. Is the next month? Because I can't do this next month. Uh, are we doing it huh? next? Month? We're not sure. Jan January dot. Why would we maybe? not be doing it next month? Yeah. Yes. Well, might be just... Josh said he was going to organise it. Oh, okay, there you go, Josh. Oh, we could just I'm, have happy, it. I'm more Nigel. than happy to organise it again, Nigel, no problem. But we, we can't use the excuse of going away on holiday, can we, really? Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, um, Simon, do we normally have a, a hiatus in January? We do, but that's when... <laughs> yeah, that's because everybody's away. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, you know, I'll tell you what, I think, <laughs> I think a January fresh off the bat 3D meetup would be fantastic, and I'm happy. Are you really to, to maintain the together. momentum? Well, I'm up for it. I'm up for January, definitely. I and mean, also, because we've got so many events. Bloody acts, of course. Has anyone, has anyone got anything to show? No, we got, we, we got all these. Yeah, but we've got all these events coming up in the next week, even. So, I mean, there's like a huge amount to talk about, isn't there? It's just kind okay. Of... Well, let's do it then. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. I'm in. I'm organising. Good. Mm. I did a co-organizer. Great to have you all on board. <laughs> I love the support that everyone gives me. Uh, everyone's oh, I'm, I'm just that, that, that almost looked like a chuckle. <laughs> there for a minute. <laughs> if you know need some dubstep, you know where to find me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I tell you what's that point. Point. It'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's really looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> but what's everyone? So, so Simon, how does how does that taste? The the, the straight up uh, bottom barrel rum uh, in a in a glass. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a seven <laughs> out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. But, really? Um, so you, you, but oh, what, was your, what was your rating? Was what was your rating Just for the, the Godfather rum, previous yeah. month? Uh, that your Godfather is a ten out of ten. Oh, okay. Your face, your glass. face today was so, more like a three out of ten. No, I know. Drag it. Surprisingly, after the first sip, uh, <laughs> I've grown to love it. Really well. hey, listen, Alex, I'm a little bit concerned. I just, I just checked back. Mm. Uh, when, when were you with us? When did you do a present uh, presentation with uh, May uh, AMV? Was that back in May? Which one? Because I've done like dozens over the years. No, no the one like... this year. But I've just dozens. checked through. Oh, I've just done a screen grab and uh, I'm May or June, off. maybe. I, I'm not sure. It's like maybe the second or first one in lockdown, maybe. I've realized that your Dyson fan hasn't moved. My Can we side. just take a moment? Well, to it, it wouldn't have done. Why, why would it have moved? Just, well, we had, we've been having an entire summer since then. <laughs> ah, no, we haven't. Not really. Well, I mean, it has been summery, but I mean, it's set up in exactly the right direction to blow all the stuff out the window. So it doesn't, I, I don't actually have it on swivel because it, it, it is perfectly positioned to blow all the steam coming out of the back of my render servers out straight out the window before it heats up. Oh my up God, that's like a computer, that's a computer cooling system. It's not farts or something like that. Oh, fuck no. no it's, it's, it's just purely about cooling the machines and, and, and not heating the house, basically. Because if I have all my rendering nodes on at the same time, it heats half the house. Because I, I built this like, what, eight years ago and it's like, super insulated maybe a bit of a mistake in hindsight but like because i've got all the machines in here it, it, if i have everything on it heats half the house even in the middle of summer which you don't want so, yes. so that, that that's there to purely on not because it's super efficient or anything but it just because it it, it blows the most out of air out of the window so, the the hot hot air, so as the hot air comes out the back of my machines it goes hot, straight out the window and not in here you should you should yeah, give um, you should give on, so a few tips on how to uh, run his uh, his own house. <laughs> Who's so? Jeff Moffat. You should ask Jeff. Um, oh no 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 no! I'm no, no, nothing to it. Uh, he knows more about waterproofing than I'll ever find out in a lifetime. <laughs> he's he's an expert. <laughs> nice. Jeff's got the same thing. So he's hydroponically growing cabbage, and he's got fans. Uh, no, sorry, lettuce. Jeff, lettuce. No, no, right? I, I gave up after I grew algae in the. Okay, there's a massive, there's a massive <laughs> thing in the three D community. 
hang on, Jeff, you're growing lettuce, right? Hydroponically? Uh, lettuce, radishes, uh, herbs, tomatoes. Yeah. Right. So Jeff has a fan and it, it, it blows the smell of dope out of yeah. the room that he where he grows all of the the lettuce and the radishes and all that. You're stretching it a bit there, so <laughs> The lettuce. Uh, let us be. Speechless once again. Hey, by what, the way, what have you though, got there, Jim? Nigel, this is entirely your fault because it was your idea to make me drink a ridiculous cocktail and then and then get a little bit out of hand. Nice. Oh, wow. so, but let, let's move on to Jeff. Like, what, what is yeah, that? What, yeah. <laughs> it's Jeff. It? Then. Right, we need music. Is that? We need music, and Jeff's going to oh, make us a drink. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm modeling a bottle? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what you got, Jeff? What's that? Is uh, Zacapa from my uh, friend Nico. Uh -oh. she, uh, she brought this to me when we were at D2 last year. Go for it. I would definitely go oh, yeah. for it. It doesn't matter what time it is there, go for it. Sorry, sorry, what sort of drink is it? Sorry, I'm not familiar with that one. It is uh, Guatemalan 23-year-old uh, uh, rum. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, okay. This is the good stuff. Very you know awesome. what, Jeff? <laughs> so this is a proper celebration at this point. Jeff, please don't mix it with Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too right. <laughs> I'm brew only. <laughs> I can't see what you're doing with it, Jeff. Drinking. <laughs> Was it. I supposed to do something? It's <laughs> probably yeah. a good thing. It's it's drink. I, 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 I mean, it's just drink. Else you want me to do. <laughs> Pour it in a glass. You drink it. What more do you need? <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I can, I can give Van a white or something and kind of show it off. Yeah. I, have you not got those fantastic kind of glasses, like the little thing with the, with the little. Thing that comes around yeah. well, these, this is a yes. whiskey glass because i normally drink whiskey but uh yeah this is a nice proper glass snifter i love your glass uh, glenn uh, glenn cairn yeah okay cut the music <laughs> oh, the music's perfect <laughs> actually it's doing really really well thanks thanks jeff i was quite liking the music I would say. yeah the music is perfect Good little jazzy background there I'm not sure what you were expecting, John. Like, was I supposed to put a straw in it or something? Or no, no, no. I think, I think, I think that's one of the wonderful things about this seg this segment. Actually, is you make of it what you want. Um, but surely we can tease you a little bit. What? <laughs> when, I made, when I made the cocktail, I, made I, I don't know. Video. I don't know what oh, kind no, of shit you say. That was you're running, Josh, but I'm not. This is what I signed up for. Well, I, so I'm, I'm completely up for being. You know, I'm quite up for it. It's fine. You, you leave, but leave oh, no, no, I thought you just didn't understand me because of my accent. <laughs> You need to put in more effort. When I made a cocktail, I made a five-minute video about the knife choice to choose to cut the cucumber for a margarita. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, that was scary. <laughs> We've had some... There's been a few drinks. Maybe we have to put a compilation together of, of cocktails for, for the 3D community's uh, pre-Christmas drinks. Have we got any questions from chat? Um, and there aren't many. Or are they just in the new <laughs> silence? I, I, I think I we may have anybody even watching this more. crap. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I really hope that everyone's gone to bed and preparing themselves for tomorrow. And um, <laughs> it just could be the diehard who, who are remaining with us, it seems. So, um, I've, got, I've got one. I've got. Can I ask another question about the uh, CG Architect Awards? I mean, it, it is. One of the big things for the night, though. Um, I did. I did think like loads, loads of the um, loads of the material that came in. Oh, okay, hang on. Um, lo loads of the film, like loads of the images. Uh, Im image stuff looked like loads. Sorry, loads of the finished image stuff. Loads of the commission stuff looked like non-commissioned stuff, um, which which is a huge compliment. I think because um, when you when you when you look at it, when you want to do when you're doing commission work, you want to be doing stuff that you really believe in. And and I looked at loads of the commissioned image work, and I just thought that 
that was stuff that those people had really felt so much about. And um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. It, it meant so much work to them, which I felt was different from previous years. Can we so, run yeah, through... come up to terms with what I was trying to say there. Could we run through the winners and I can actually put up my titles I was supposed to do earlier? Yeah. So. Got slides and shit. No, I've got. I've done all the fancy things, but I didn't have a chance to do it earlier because I was too busy. So, who wants to run through the the seven categories? Well, Jeff does. Obviously. Sure. Well, we can. We do. You, you see, so you have slides, Nigel. Is that what? No, you're no, no. You say you watch on screen. It's so. Gonna be... How about you just play the 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 video from that? You know, it was on our channel. Uh, earlier. So we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's only an hour and a half long. Yeah. There you go. I'll see. There we go. We'll push him. So the Pushing. commissioned image was. So commissioned. So it's different order than I go. So commissioned image was Massimiliano. Uh, from there we Mazzoli. go. Massimiliano yeah. Mazzoli. Yeah. Wasn't there that right? Go. He's yep. up on screen. I've done that one. Right. Uh, He's not on screen yet there, Nigel. Uh, it will come up any second. It'll cover your face. Okay. Um, <laughs> There we go. Breaking news. It's a bit old now, so I should just change it to old news. It's, it's like three three hours ago news. Uh, and uh, commissioned image. Non commissioned image. Sorry. The non commissioned oh, image was, um, was Pedro Fernandez. Pedro. Uh, was look jeff look. doesn't know okay <laughs> I, I wasn't there i wasn't there he's done, <laughs> done everything so he, he deserves a break exactly <laughs> have another drink, drink take it easy jeff he drank too much uh rum already amigo how much rum you had <laughs> <Where's>... <laughs> <laughs> that's my style so there it is by the way, Pedro say hi to everyone. He texted me like 10 minutes ago. So he, oh, cool. he's celebrating already and having a good fun. So he just say hi to everybody. Well, he can come and join us if he wants. He's practicing well, his talk. What are you talking about? I tried. Yeah, he's talking <laughs> tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. He so deserves to enjoy this. For him, it must be a magical moment, to be honest. Uh, we definitely need a, uh, a Pedro 3DS London crossover, 3DS meetup. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good culture there. Yeah. Can so, so we, so we do another music? Jeff, and... What did Pedro win last year? Pedro yes. is a three-time presenter. In he's fine. He, he'll, he'll come along and present, but we should we should catch up with him because he's doing amazing stuff on YouTube. Yeah, if you I have can't go and him. I know, I know the tricks. Oh, yeah, was it also non-commissioned last year, Jeff, that he won? Yeah, I'm bringing yeah. up the... Yes. Uh, it was. It was, was it was okay. Yeah, it was live live in Vienna. Yeah, it was crazy. I have to say, <laughs> I think Fabio wow. pushed him down while they were running with the camera. I don't know something. If something happened, he fell down and then like he popped right back up. That was really funny, dude. I mean, imagine his energy. He was looking forward for this for a long time, and he was so yeah. excited. Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't been there. I'm just being. He saw me so many videos, and I was like, I wish I was there. <laughs> But the mag it was a magical moment, seriously. Yeah, I have to say, of all yeah. of all seventeen, well, last year would have been sixteen years, but of all sixteen years, that one moment was like, yeah, that was the peak. Of exactly, the his passion about winning this amazing award. Seriously, I was feeling inspired even from distance. It was amazing. Yeah, even in his um, his his uh, kind of acceptance interview you know piece piece that he was doing for the awards a couple hours ago um you know i had to edit the footage but you know he, he got really emotional it was it was that was cool which makes me to say again jeff thank you for doing this because people are enjoying really so yeah thank Thanks you for everybody for submitting you, yeah. you deserve it man yeah 100 and it's not just this year though is it though jeff you've been doing this a long time uh yeah. you, you know it's, i guess it's, it makes me a little bit sad because next year is going to be cg architect's 20th anniversary and uh i'm not certain i'll be able to celebrate it with 
all of my friends in the industry, which yeah. is kind of sad. Yeah. I was hoping that one milestone would we'd be able to probably uh, celebrate a D2 because the timing would be almost the same. So, well, Jeff, we talked about this, and I think that we can, we'll do something. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. even if it's well, limited, I, even I, if it's I'll, limited I'll, because of the uh, if stuff is still going on, we'll figure out a way to get you to Vienna, and we'll do even if it's just a party with you know you and us, and <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I'll come there. We'll I'll quarantine for a couple of weeks, and we'll all be good. Yeah, well, we got we we managed to get to 3ds London last last year, I believe, Jeff. I have a good I have a, a series of great photos of you in a classic English pub right next to the British Museum, being very drunk with a lot of other people. <laughs> so now, if we if we can't get you to Vienna, we'll definitely get you to London. No problem at all. That'd be awesome. What was that, Alex? Alex, what, what um, was it? This is the Ridgeside Equator, which is a mango and pineapple IPA, apparently. I haven't started it yet, so I can't tell right, you quite what it's going to um, taste Nigel, like. That sounds Nigel, horrible. Yes. Instead of me making cocktails I don't really want to make uh, next month, we're, we're going to get Alex to drink all kinds of nonsense and then see what happens to him. Seriously, that's, that's well, no, a good that's, idea. But that's happening now. It wasn't even a warm up, and nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Well, yeah, because yeah. I'm just used to it. I mean, it's just kind of like <laughs> it's beer. It's like it's not dangerous, like drinking amaretto and all sorts is of it, other weird concoctions. It, it, it's who it's made just it? beer. No, it's it's, it's real. Absent. It's real ale. Um, I have a link on here. Let's have a look. Uh, Sounds revolting. It does. No, it's not actually. I mean, it, it, it's surprising. The, the fruity beers are actually okay. They're nice in summer. I'm not a great fan of fruity beers, to be honest, but I'll put the link here. You can kind of Jeff, see. Jeff, I what... wanted to ask you, because I never actually asked you that. What What was it that, why was it postponed this year a little bit, the uh, CG Awards? Was it because of the COVID stuff or was there some other No, reason? because, uh, well, there was two, two things. Uh, normally when we announced, we, I'd started the kind of initial preparations, right. When I was in, Lo when we were in London together at the, uh, the Vertex conference. Yeah. Uh, and just within weeks of like coming back, um, you know, all the lockdowns hit all the sponsor dollars froze. Um, and of course it was right at the time when we were launching the new site. Right. So I think we launched in May. Yeah. So, I mean, that's literally the biggest project I've ever done in my career. Uh, you know, it took a year and a half of, of work to, to do that. So the timing of the COVID and that, it was just, it was too much. So we decided to postpone. And, and then by the time you guys decided, you know, when you announced your dates, I mean, there really just wasn't enough time to get it yeah. together and whatnot. So, yeah, at that point, it was like, there was no rush to get it out because we knew, I knew I missed the, the, the D2 deadline. So. Yeah, but I think in the end, it actually turned out to be fine because um, to stand yeah. alone by itself, it also worked f perfectly. I mean, it's been a th it's been viewed a thousand times already, like wow. just since uh, we premiered it. And uh, that's a lot. So in that short time. That's cool. So I think it's Happy to hear. people are interested. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit worried. I mean, every every year I do the awards, there's always something I decide I'm going to do extra and it just makes more work for me and, you know, trying to raise the bar every year. And certainly this year, I think I, I raised the bar, at least in the in terms of the work that I, I, I put in. I'm a little bit worried what happens when we go back to a, a live event. Like, do I need to, you know, hire a 50 person film crew now? Is this the next bar? I don't know. What to... <laughs> I think we're going to need to get limos, you know? Like limo, yeah. we bring the people in in limos. Red carpets, red <laughs> carpets. Exactly, yeah. we do a, a red Perfect. carpet walk. Purple carpets. Right. Oh. Oh, in my experience, everything that starts in a limo ends in tears. It's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so wait. So here's here's a kind of you know kind of ties into what you're saying. So the very very first uh, 3D awards that I was mentioning was at that restaurant. Um, way back when, when Leonard, who at the time owned CG Society and now Art oh, Station. God, yeah. Um, he had run this event called 3D Festival in Copenhagen and they had an awards uh, and they actually had a um, architecture, but nobody entered because that's really not their wheelhouse. So he had this extra award and it looked like the, the Academy Award Oscar. So at SIGGRAPH, at that one, he's like, Jeff, here's the award, do something with it. And that was how the 3D award started <laughs> way, way back when. So yeah, the very, very first 3D award was a, it looked like a, an Oscar. There's some guy with a sword, wasn't it? It's like a Dan yeah, Platt, yeah, Dan Platt and, uh, yeah. LA designed it. Um, he's still like a really amazing sculptor. 
but the, I mean, as that, I mean, you're right. There were very few people. I mean, we didn't have the community back then. I mean, you you had it online with the CG Architect site, but trying to translate that into something that was visual, because like back then, CG Architect wasn't so much about the visualization side of stuff. It was as much about people who were just generally doing CAD work and all the other things that we did back then. Um, so it, I mean, it's amazing what you've done with it since been a long uh, long journey i mean like i say the next year's 20 years so and there's oh yeah been a long long haul yeah it's funny when you said you said that you were on the same page as me i, I was thinking about limo, limo rides ending in places you weren't expecting that was exactly that year wasn't it with all the, the various weddings and stuff we so, went so, to. so what alex is re is uh is referring to is um often we would go to SIGGRAPH a lot of people and it was a place where we would hold stag parties as well because that was when everybody got together so i there was a number of stag parties i coordinated and one of them was this massive long stretched hummer for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the blue <laughs> neon lights <laughs> yeah as tacky as that is yeah that was amazing yeah. hopefully we'll be able to do that again sometime soon although we're getting a bit old for like uh maybe the uh stag does but like uh, who knows <laughs> there are other, yeah. other occasions we can do yeah, I think at this point, I've I not only have I gone through like first marriages, I've gone to like second marriages already. So I think oh, okay. I ramped it up. It's over. <laughs> yeah, now. I've not done the second marriages wave yet, but like, yeah. So, um, Olga, you're you're you've been very patient and quiet there, oh, yeah. along with Emma and Joanna. Um. Sorry. Yeah, Olga, I noticed you're, you're advertising again for 3D stuff. I mean, what, what, what's the, the background behind all that? Uh, sorry, say again? Olga, I noticed HD are advertising for like 3D stuff yes. and stuff. Like, what are you after right now? Uh, well, yeah, so we are uh, looking for talented 3D artists at the moment. So we're actively recruiting if anyone would like to apply um there's information on our social media we have a few positions open at the moment so um would be good to hear from anyone who might be interested are you looking for anything specific or just general all around goodness yeah general goodness i guess uh so <laughs> uh, if there's anyone out there with um exceptional talent um whether it be in 3d animation or any other kind of related field we're always uh, interested in starting a conversation and uh, figuring out how we can get that person on board so it'd be good to see some portfolios in so is everyone, Olga, working remotely at HD or are they back in the office? Yeah, so at the moment, um, we are all remote. I think in UK, correct me if I'm wrong, I think in UK from tomorrow, the, the lockdown like switches okay. to the tier system. No, it, it, was, it was today. today. It was today. Oh, today, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so we will be allowed back in the studio, but again, not in the capacity that we were before March, because obviously there are still restrictions to everything. So it's been a very interesting year for us to uh, figure out how to kind of change our procedures and uh, how we communicate with each other, which uh, we, well, we were using Slack before, so now it's our main form of communication. Um, obviously with like all video calls and Zoom meetings and all that kind of fun stuff that everyone is experiencing. So um, obviously we were lucky enough to have the technology in place already with a remote connection and um, being able to like VPN uh, in our computers in, at the studio. Uh, but again, it was quite a sudden change because basically um, I think we had like a one buff buffer week. So if I remember correctly, the lockdown started like towards end of March. And I think a week before on the 13th, we started saying like, like, if you want to work from home, you can. And then the week after the government announced, well, now we have to. So it wasn't very much time to actually like do it and, you know, check everything. But luckily everything worked and we found our ways around stuff mm -hmm. and managed to um get everything working very smoothly so so yeah after 
Does that, change, have... does that change your company strategy for growth? Because obviously, on the one hand, it makes training people who are coming in at the lower end more difficult because you, you can't spend quality time one on one with them. But at the same time, it enables you to expand outside of your capacity in the current office. Because yes, you so... potentially can have more people remotely than you could have ever fit into one space. So like, how do you balance that? Um, yeah, that's that's a really good question. So at at this moment we are recruiting new people, so we're definitely uh, getting new artists in, and we have a very um, very very wide system in place. We have uh, mentorship programs for uh, for junior artists, and we have um, an amazing um, men, uh, an amazing induction process in place at the moment as well. Um, I would encourage you to listen to our presentation tomorrow at the State of oh, Art. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. You that. That's cool. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll, so... I'll try and look at that. <laughs> so no, it's, it's funny. Obviously, because you know, it's been a long time, but I I kind of was involved back in the day and I, i'm kind of interested in how you guys have moved it on since so mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of here's a here's a question for everyone since we've all been working from home and when next year or the year after when you can all go back to work how many of us actually want to what work <laughs> go back and work <laughs> in an office <laughs> How many of us really do want to go back? Because we've all made it work this year. And that's, that's how the I think the industry has completely changed on its head. Is that mm. we, you know, if you think even last year, if we'd all said there is all of us, all the studios, you've all got to work from home. We'd all go, that's crazy. It's I know no I for one think that, that this entire thing has changed the entire way that we do business. And, yeah. and I think that going, going forward that people will not, do business in the same way again and, and no. employees will not go to work in the same way again as well and i totally agree you know, even if we do go back to work and you know if, you know thinking mm. forward and in a positive light we're all going to go back to our studios and carry on life i just don't think that that life is going to be the same life that we had before this pandemic yeah definitely well, i think it's like different because changes yeah yeah i think i mean you know, Tom, whether, whether, Tom, tom's in the same boat as me because we both made a decision to work from home so um, we're not part of that so it's no. okay actually i think it's a really good question for you and this is something i wanted to ask as well you know you, you spoke about how you were able to move at the beginning of the crisis and into what you're doing now are you still doing now what you were doing back in march last year or, or june last year even and the next part of the question is as you know part of what nigel said looking at march next year what, what's the next move for you guys yes yeah, so as as mentioned before um we did find our way around um being not in the studio and working remotely so we figured out how to um like communicate even though we're not in the same room anymore so that's been working pretty well so i'd say that we carry on doing what what we're doing best so images and visual representation of architecture and then we also look at uh, new ways of doing things and how we can use um that crisis and and find new solutions that maybe we wouldn't have thought about if it didn't happen so is, is what you're doing now the same as what it was in in april last year or something or i mean what have you learned from that 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 transition from here to now what's different well we definitely learned that it's possible to for everyone to work remotely so now we are uh, going to be more open to um how much time you can actually work from home it's all uh, very much in the works at the minute and we are figuring out the right balance and the right procedures for it but it's definitely um, going to have an, like, an effect on uh, how we're going to uh, proceed into next year. Because, um, yeah, I mean, there's like yeah. different challenges it's, for everyone for different reasons. It's a big question, isn't it? You know, I think it's, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot because it really is a big question for everyone, I think. Hmm. Um, well, that's kind of my um, fault because I started it. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and Alex, <laughs> apparently, a, apparently Nigel started a rule that you're not allowed to talk about the pandemic as well. So, well, no, oh, did he? But well, he didn't, we, we he didn't to mention it. Positive as possible, in this year. Okay, I'm um, sorry, Nigel. Well, you can go. You can go for it. You're a guest. You're allowed to say. Well, I know, but you uh, you didn't communicate. You know what? To you me. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, to talk about the, I'm uh, actually happy to the say that the room, you know? 
I'm actually happy to say the um, the, the feeling with 3DS London about the pandemic, and you know, we're, we're happy to talk about it, but we don't want to dwell on it. You know, it's not supposed to be the topic of what we're talking about. Well, but the thing is, we're all still here, so we survived, and it's kind of mm -hmm. like sharing the strategies for for survival is a positive thing. Yeah. Well, I, I for one think it's incredibly exciting that that it's decentralized the industry mm -hmm. and that teams maybe next year or the year after we're going to see teams of people from all over the world get together and form an entity to actually work together I mean, I think that that's right, be on project yeah. by project yeah, basis, yeah. but mm -hmm. we've proved that it can work mm -hmm. and clients have proved that they can accept it because i've had to accept the way that mm -hmm. we're working and and now it's just what happens what's the new normal going to be i think it makes it easier in some aspects that when you're working on a project now it's quite normal to say to the client look can we just jump on a quick video call i really want to like ask you this question or show the screen or whatnot so i think that really improves the way we work as well with the clients it's it's so painful and this is how i am doing all my video calls with clients in december <laughs> Just, I tried it. I tried it this morning, and, they, and it's like I thought I'd annoy them, but they they were like, "Oh, yeah, it's quite fun," and, like, and because everyone put dogs that's, in the that's one of the, the nice things about it. Everything's become so informal. I mm. think the number of meetings where you have to turn, turn up semi-smart or, in, God forbid, in a suit and a tie, uh, non-existent anymore. Mm. Yeah. So, so, I, so, I, so it a... is. It's it's totally broken down those barriers. So I'm a bit so biased so because I've been working from home for decades now. But yeah. when what I'm actually worried about, you know, uh, especially in this business of like arch vis visualization kind of thing, mm -hmm. you do realize how many office building won't be needed anymore. Mm -hmm. And will this be like well, a that, giant that's huge. bust in a giant bust in building crap? Yeah, but Zap, I think it's... architects are probably the, uh, you know, the, the number one person that's needed in the changing landscape, to be honest. It's not just about office buildings. It's about creating how people will interface with the new world, you know, if this is... Yeah, this... What, what it's done is it, in, in London, it's exaggerated what was happening already with Brexit. So... You Don't know, say the B word. Well, yeah, okay. But the commercial <laughs> architecture in, in London right now is completely slow to a halt. It was sat on the fence for two years prior to COVID, and now it's doing more of the same. But but the, yeah, the, the, in the in the longer term or the, or the short to medium term, it's going to be positive because there's going to be lots of designs, lots of refits because as people realise that all these vast offices they've got in the city, the thirty percent empty right now need redesigning. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of visualisation work that comes out of that. Ultimately, I haven't seen any of it yet, but you know that it's kind of inevitable that that will happen at some point. But the other thing is it's going to decentralize too. People are going to want to continue working from home. They're going to want mm -hmm. maybe lo more local hubs where they can kind of congregate and actually get to meet other people. Uh, nobody, like nobody, wants, nobody wants to work in isolation. Mm. But, but, um, but, that, but all, of that, all of that is work potentially for architects. It just hasn't started well, to materialize. I expect you on the forefront of that work, I yeah. think. So it, I but it, but it hasn't yet. started yet. Maybe, I don't know, but uh, I, I've not seen the evidence of it yet, or any anecdotal stuff that says it started to happen. Well, I, I've got some anecdotal um, stuff to talk mm. about there, uh, Alex. So I was, so I was uh, forcibly involved in a turgid um, partners meeting, partners lunch. So partners lunch. Those is are a, always fun, aren't they? They're, they are actually generally good fun because normally, well, especially I, if there's Godfathers involved. Normally, normally I can get them in, I get a, get a, a pub involved. But um, I had one today at lunchtime uh, with the uh, the partner involved in head of commercial in London, and um, she said exactly what you've just said, Alex. So you're um, you're um, yeah, you know exactly what you're talking about. I would agree one hundred percent. So I have no idea how to capitalise on it yet, but. Yeah, but, but, but she, that's but, the reality um, of the situation, isn't it? Yeah, she was pointing out that, um, com you know, for my firm anyway, um, commercial means um, uh, it, it's not building shiny new buildings in London. That's not going to happen anymore, <laughs> not for a long time anyway. Um, but she was saying that, yeah, it's, it, it is actually um, commercial billings have gone up this year because 
everyone is like, oh my God, Jesus Christ, what are we going to do in our office? Because we can't, it's, it's not going to work in the same way that it, that it is at the moment. Um, so, I mean, I guess there's a, I guess I'm a slightly more architecty because mm. I work for an architectural firm. So it's more exciting for me than maybe visualizers. I don't know, but um, yeah, there's, there's definitely that happening. But, um, uh, if you're involved in um, commercial office space visualization, I think it's going to be a, a very, very busy year uh, because um, it's going to do with changing spaces as they exist already. And, it, and it's going to be um, dealing with, um, you know, how do we get in? the whole world has just got used to doing what we're doing now, zooming, you know, and it's great, but it's not that great. You know, it, not that great. It's not that great. It's uh, rather us all being sitting around the pub right now and, and getting down to oh, 100%. And the there's, fact. Some in, there's, there's some interesting studies which talks about the way human beings perceive um, what's happening with them. And the, uh, and, and, uh, and, and the, and the takeaway is I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll, I'll try and make it short. I'll try and make it, I'll try and make this 20 seconds. All right. But it's to do with, if you have a whole, um, tableau of people on a zoom meeting it's very hard to connect to them on a personal level because you don't get any um depth perception and, you, and you're not there with them and, the, and then there's the delay when when you ask them a question they come back to you it's just not the same as being there in real life uh so there's so it's never going to be as good as actually being in a room with them and talking to them yeah but that's going to be our mission next year is bringing back 3DS London in, in its physical form. And I know, it's, to... it's, it's a tricky thing. And I, I, and I haven't talked to anybody about this before, Nigel, and I'm sorry if, if this is going to upset anybody, but oh my God, that basement in Truckles. Does anyone want to be in there next year? I don't think so. Not yeah, but I think what we've just <laughs> said, <laughs> well, there's going to be I, some I, great commercial great, space in the city that we can go and, go and take over. No, like, I, 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 I must. I, I just, I disagree with you there, Simon. I, I don't feel paranoid about that at all. Actually, the opportunity to go and hug friends, actually, is something I really look forward to. And I'm, I'm, the, the basement of Truckles does not fill me with fear, on that Alex, level. I've, I've, I've always, I've already offered to sit on your lap, so you know I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I think that, the drawing on, isn't it? Well, yeah. I, mean, yeah, I may or may not succumb to that temptation, but it's, uh, but, you know. But you, Alex, I, you and I'll I, give you a hug, Alex. No problem. <laughs> but I think, exactly. I think, but it's, I think that the fear thing has been over -egged. And it's like, you know, I mean, sure, I Nigel, I'm probably the most aged here. I don't I know. Don't uh, maybe in chat there's somebody who's older, that? but like, I, I don't feel no. at risk by it. Uh, it's it's kind of, you know, it's one of those things. You, you have to kind of take life by the, grab yeah, it by the horns and go for it. And You've got to be sensible, though. Well, yeah, yeah to a point. Yeah, have yeah, one horn, maybe. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll stay. I stay well, here at Godfather's. That's for sure. All of a sudden, no, I, I, I would agree, Alex. I, I 100 agree. But I have people in my life that I, I think, live with who I need. I, th to I think I would love to look forward to a place where we can all go back to the basement of troubles and hug each other and enjoy that. Yeah, and you know, and that would be fantastic. And I think that maybe January when we do a, you know non-january party to celebrate the start of this stuff it's probably not going to be happening happening that's too soon i mean it's, it's going to take be, months yet, it's too but, soon so at I'm, the same time so i, I would look something to i would for. like to look forward without dwell, without dwelling on the fact that we can't hug each other now i would like to look forward to you know what we can expect for the next year and i, I don't know i think I can stretch the work mission to go and take some photographs in bloody Hackney, you know, if you want a hug. I, Alex, I'll always love a hug, <laughs> um, Nigel, well, you've got a dog we, and kids, you shouldn't little, be wanting to have that vote. much. But... We had an internal vote about um, what was the most fantastic uh, or the, the most enjoyed presentation over the last 12 months, because we've, we've actually, oh, okay. like this year, we have we have given so many fantastic presentations i mean not not me personally not you we, okay okay can i okay i'm not, I'm not spelling myself very well i'm not uh, uh, there's uh, been about 36 presentations we have uh, enabled 36 fantastic presentations to happen this year and there's been a few that have really stood out in fact they've all, all been amazing 
I vote Nikos um, actually before you start. Oh, Nikos is like Nikos's right? stuff is amazing. I, I really love the colors, like the whole monotony of like everything looking photo real and just like the same. But actually, Nikos, like the, the way he's looking at it, cinematic lighting and color it's just beautiful it's just like that's thank, the way to go thank My you book. so much alex i had the pleasure to present twice at 3ds london this year it was an amazing experience actually i was with jeff in london mm -hmm. it was february or march jeff do you remember uh it was oh. late 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 february yeah late oh, february nice. we, we present together it was an amazing experience and i had the same experience online i think we're doing well and hopefully we'll continue in any format but yes i had the pleasure to present twice this year so Thank you I mean, for the that's amazing, and there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it. With particularly enjoying a particular presentation, and 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 that's true mm. not just for the past year, but the past fifteen years I've been doing this. My exactly. favorite presentation this year has been a Yoko's presentation, and uh, Yoko did this incredible presentation at the end of the year. Oh yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, that was amazing actually. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, uh, Yoko's amazing. presentation was incredible. Yeah. Uh, well, luckily, it's uh, all online. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll go back and check it. Twenty, I mean, twenty-four because, hours. Um, uh, hang on, not least because it's you know English is a foreign language. It's fine, but then talk, then talk geek, then talk geek language about what you're doing. Um, I thought I thought she did a, an amazing, amazing job. Because you could tell she she was you could tell it wasn't easy for her and and I know for a fact because I spoke to her about it that it, it took a lot of time for her to I get. Quite, I quite like that though, Simon. Like when somebody doesn't necessarily have those tools at them, you know, they sometimes. Well, I'm mean, usually well, actually, when, I did, when uh, the yeah. content that comes across is just. I did actually see that. Yeah. It just yeah, it just yeah, makes yeah, yeah, better, you know? yeah. incredible. It was uh, 10 out of 10, I would say. And it was one of the best. Because oh, the visuals are amazing. Yeah. A very, very long time. Really, really good. And she's still uh, doing what, amazing stuff now as well. More to the point. It's like. Yeah. So that's what's happening. That, that, yeah. This is a great thing. Along with Tom's presentation. Tom's presentation, which of course was incredible, because Tom's, well, Tom's not here. He just stuck up a picture of himself. And yeah, yeah. No, he is. He's there. He's got some like samurai bandana thing on. Yeah. Tom was <laughs> talking to me. Oh, oh, oh. He was going like, Tom, you, you, you get yourself in so much trouble on these things. I'm just going to sit there and be quiet and, and listen to what you say. Listen, he, he's got a very subtle Christmas jumper on there. Um, yeah. But I've worked with Tom for the past um, two months. Tom's done some amazing work uh, for um, the firm I work for, and and we are super privileged um, uh, to have Tom work for us as well. It's uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I guess I'm a guest member on their teams teams now. It's, uh, it's a, yeah, it's a guest member sure. on our internal teams member. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> he's going to regret it next week because I, I believe he's... I have to say, mango and pineapple is actually really nice. <laughs> uh, it's, horrible. it's working well. <laughs> um, That's like a some, some of my favourite topic, yeah. Hey, when are we flipping over to Zach's channel? Here we go. Well, it, well, we don't have to flip big and coexist, can we? Zach was ready. Yeah. You can see him. He's always He's ready. Always oh, ready. you got him on it. <laughs> <He's always laughs> my, my favourite was Dan Moore from Frames All, by the way. Uh, Dan was great. Okay. I think I, think I voted Dan as well. Oh, that was <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah. I actually had a list, and then I was told that I cannot have a list, but... Um, <laughs> no, yeah. no. The, the, yeah, but the thing is, you should congratulate yourselves because you've like managed to consistently have really good speakers all year, and it, it's been awesome. I mean, the, the whole thing has been so good. The way you've got the continuity, you've had the the not only the depth but the breadth of speakers, and and you straight outside of art fees as well. Like last since lockdown, it's actually gotten more broad in terms of like including people from automotive, from VFX, and all the rest. So they're of always being awesome. Thanks, Alex. Alex is definitely reading from something, isn't he? Yeah, no, like I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm just, I've just reached critical threshold. 
Yeah, thank you, Alan. You know, also, but also, none of, none of us... This, this is not for the Godfather. Yeah. But I was going to say, none of us on the committee expected to be doing the, a live YouTube thing at all, ever. Well, so it's it's really really quite a change for everybody. Um, yeah, but it separates the men from the boys, doesn't it, at the end of the day? Yeah, it's oh, so, I what, like, I I, I'm sorry because we've got lots of ladies here, because that, that doesn't really kind of show. Yeah, well, I think, well, I think it's, but, but it's, it's a, it's a yeah, kind of... You know, yeah, yeah. Joanna has come on board That's this cool. year and, and been such a fantastic host and done a brilliant job of, of introducing everyone and working so hard to, to you know, to, to drive us forward. and. And I don't know, like, I missed the beginning because I was too busy watch, uh, you know, watching the TV. Yeah, it was. It's my good, it's my good. And, and, and Olga also has come on as a committee member as well, which uh, which is a fantastic finish to the year as well. We've got some interesting uh, plans for next year. I oh, think it's a new no, direction. It's brilliant. Because the, the, the thing is, women should always have been involved as equals yeah. all the way through. It's like it's never been in contention as far as I'm concerned. So it's like, it's absolutely perfect that that's happening. And it's good that the results are showing, you know. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna dig out Alex from what he's... <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I mean, the fact that the difference is well placed. Yeah. Listen, it's, it's, it's easy to be blasé about this, but, you know... Well, it's I, not... And, and I, I'm, I'm fully aware that what I'm talking about now is recorded on YouTube and it will be there forever for everyone to discuss in perpetuity. Um, but you know what, when 3DS London started, it was all men. That was it. And, that, and there's no way around that. You know, I didn't, it, it's not like I invited only men. It was, that's what happened. And I can remember, um, I can remember the <laughs> first time a, a female turned up to 3ds london and it wasn't you know it wasn't after you know we started 15 years ago uh, and it was a and it was a big deal that, it had been going under the forms before that as well a so bit it's, yeah, yeah but it's same problem and it's only like yeah. you, I mean, but i mean it is, it is it's so changing the first sigraph i was okay, many we, years we ago it was like did you see a woman and now it's like can we let someone finish please come on yeah, sorry, there, right. there are people interrupting my uh conversation here yeah, sorry, sorry. Like. <laughs> um i don't want to get shitty about it but i'm just saying that it, that was a fact you know it was just men and and it wasn't anything that i that i or anyone anyone else tried to do that was just how it worked. I can remember the first time, uh, I don't want to embarrass her, but I can remember the first time a female 3D art, a, a, literally a female 3D artist, artist turned up at 3DS London. It was like, wow, it, it was shockwaves. It was, and, and at the time it was just, it was different. Uh, and, and now 10 years later, I can see that, oh, that sounds disgusting and it sounds like that we were all, you know, it sounds like a, it, it sounds like something was happening, but it wasn't, it was, it was incredible. And then as 3DS London has evolved over the past 10 years, it's, and I don't think it's just 3DS London, I think it's the industry as a whole and, and um, not just visualization, but also architecture yeah. and, um, what, all, all of digital tech. Oh, God, like the internet's gone wonky, and I'm not sure that I've said it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stuttering a bit. I mean, it's interesting, because, I mean, I, I mean, Olga's obviously part of the current generation, but HT, we never really had a policy. It was just a case of, like, whoever applies, if they're good enough, they get in. And it, it didn't matter whether you were male or female. I mean, I think... And, and actually, yeah. over the years, I mean, I interviewed dozens and dozens of like ladies who wanted to do 3d and we employed them if they were good enough they we we got them in it was never there was never any bias that way but but you're right in the early days it was it just seemed to be guys who wanted to do it yeah but, but, that, but that's but that's evening out like, big time the industry changed so much anyway yeah you know it's a much more creative Thing, know, which is fine but but putting all of that aside you know the proof is in the pudding there's alex nigel and me and there's three old men with gray hair 
that have been involved in this industry for a long time. Yeah, so because we, we've been here long enough to predate all of that, which is kind of sad, but it's also kind of invigorating because like you can see the changes now, which is yeah. so positive, which is great. Yeah, and then and and so so all all I all, all I would like to do is say that Nigel has has um, well, I mean, I hope I recognise this um, a couple of years ago as well. I mean, I, re I really tried very best, um, but Nigel in particular, and I'm not going to take credit for the hard work that he's done, is super involved in this, um, and and I want to uh, point out the fact that Nigel won an award this year and oh, I'm God. super sorry but I can't remember <laughs> the exact name of the award but I'm going to make you <laughs> so was that word bring that word now so I can go and get it being a twat I imagine it's time yeah. for your music he's leaving he's but he's left <laughs> this is for, for being tele Sinai. He's... oh yeah this is what we did dream man. you're going to do super trap knives up uh, so, <laughs> dreamer. This is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, actually. It's pretty cool. I did. I don't know about you guys, but the I grass off so, design of order the year. I'm always yeah. blown away by 3D printing and how you can print <laughs> steel like that. It's like it's really heavy. It's just it's it's alchemy to me. It's is yeah, it lead? Is it gold? Yeah, don't use it to murder anyone. It's from Mortis. Is it a good stop or? Um, uh, and I was very, I was uh, very uh, humble enough to, to um, override everyone else speaking here. But uh, uh, actually, what Nigel, what Nigel has achieved here, with, I mean, that award is a thing. It's great. But um, what what he's done is super important. And a lot of people talk to me and they say, "Oh, you know, you started 3ds London 15 years ago, and." Um, Nigel's been helping you out and uh, all of this, blah, blah, blah. Nigel has done an incredible job over the past four years that he's been involved in 3DS London. And he's taken it from kind of a, a niche pub meeting to something that matters worldwide. And the award, uh, I don't want to embarrass him here. Yes, but, uh, totally. I'm going to have to hide in a minute. It's, it's... But, the, but the award that he has there does mean an awful lot. Because, well, it's nice that... No, I'm, I'm going to interrupt him again. Oh. It's, it's, going to be all, it's, it's going to be all blah, blah, blah about it. But, I mean, uh, what Ni what Nigel has done, and you know, he may have free time to have done this, everything, he doesn't have a proper job and everything, but um, <laughs> what he's done is incredible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> are, you call, are you going to... Have you finished? Stop, <laughs> Are you going to call me retired? Amazing, please. I um, have to. I have to. I have to insult and upset somebody every month at least. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, I think it's also awesome you to keep it as the everyone. old timer because, like, and uh, another thing, he's a bloody youngster. Then uh, so, 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 <laughs> there's a lot we can do, and I just yeah. got involved to help you. Yeah. Because, and if I'm perfectly honest, and Come on, Nigel, I'm... let's have it finished, please. No, so, so <laughs> nobody sorry. else is. No, so, sorry, I'm going to override everyone else. I'm oh, so the reason why I got involved in this in the first place was because I wanted to, wanted to change it. And and when I was young, it was it wasn't uh, you know I, I didn't even think about um, uh, uh, male the you know male visualizers versus female visualizers, and I didn't think about um, fame issues or any of this it just it just wasn't a concern and however uncool that is these days 10 years ago it just 10 15 years ago it wasn't it wasn't a concern at all um and and what nigel has done with 3ds london uh, has um changed it from um like a like a club for people that are excited about um or interested in 3d visualization and to make it a truly inclusive club for everybody and, and, and without limits everybody but and isn't it, that what we're all trying to do i'm, I'm not going to let you talk but um, <laughs> and it's for that reason that he, it's on mute this guy it, it's for that reason <laughs> yeah, that he exactly. definitely deserves this reward because you guys aren't party to all the emails he sends to everybody about um 
making sure that what we do is inclusive. And the guy, you know, I mean, God damn, the guy, he's so nice. He's so oh. right on it. Brilliant. You yeah, okay. So if I can, we're talking about that. Um, I, I yeah, totally yeah. agree with that. Actually, it should all. It, it's all. It. Should, I think the intent has always been for it to be inclusive. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's taken good. a set. It's it's taken a certain certain threshold for it to jump over the gap. So we actually realise that it is. Yeah. Well, I, I think. I I, I, I I don't think it was ever exclusive, in the sense no. that people were excluded well, yeah, from it. Like, like but, Nigel but definitely it, made it. Inclusive. Yeah, absolutely. Let's not talk about me anymore, please. Nigel made it happen, and so. Yeah. Well, no, no, we're and we're all going to make we're all going to make the industry into something completely different in the next few years. You need a, an award that because like a pointy hat. Well, Olga's. I don't know if we should bring it up, but what that we're de we're, we're tackling diversity on multiple levels, mm -hmm. and I think we could go. I would. I th don't think we go down the route just yet, but we we've tackled gender equality or gender balance. There's also uh, lots of other balance. Well, oh, no, we're on the way there. It's it's not there mm -hmm. yet, but it, it's sure. got a way to go. But it's, oh, no, no, it, no, it, it's, it, we set the ground rules, and that's the main. Uh, thing. Hold, 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 on a second. hold on, hold on. Who would you, if you if you're organizing a dinner party, you just want to make it the most fun dinner party possible and have people from all sorts of different backgrounds and and that's that's what to me when I was building the company that that was my sort of thought process. I don't want to employ a bunch of people like me. How boring! I mean, I come <laughs> from New Zealand. <laughs> I want to employ people from all over the world that I can experience their cultures and and actually make a much much better company from it. Same thing of what we're trying to do. Well, I, well, I would agree, and I, also I'm aware that we're 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 streaming live, and 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 there's there isn't a chance to think exactly about what you're saying. But I would say that the is is 3ds London genuinely has a, a good intention behind whatever they do, um, and if anyone is interested in in finding out more about it. Um, you can contact us on the uh, 3ds meetup page for sure i think i think what it might take away from all this is i stopped going to 3ds london for many years because i was many years, Nigel, i noticed it yeah no i was way too busy with work there was no <laughs> i i thought it's a waste of time i'm i'm busy i'm flat out busy i'm running a busy studio diversifying under film and tv and all that but then I suddenly went, when I started going to the conferences in Europe, like SOA and D2, and I realized it's, an, and I think it was something that Jeff said to me about four years ago. He said, if you're wanting to actually build your software company, you've got to start going and doing business at these, at these conferences, which I took the, I took what Jeff said on board and I started going and it was like, this is where everyone is making connections. <laughs> Everyone's making connections at, at the conferences that Jean Pierre and the D2 guys are doing. And that's the same with what we've got as well. You've got to go, you've got to attend a network. And that's how you've got this whole new generation of have risen up and built studios. And it's all if you look at the if you like where they've met, they've met at, at through networking. Definitely. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah. Well, I think that's really valid, and it's also, I, I think, a really good success story. I, I think, uh, yeah, there's still ways to go, but like the 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 inroads you've made so far has just been amazing. I mean, and, and the whole thing has changed. I mean, you look at three just our limited little world of 3ds London, it's changed beyond measure over the last two three years since you guys have like taken it over and got it organised. let's see where we go with it it's it's um let's see where we let's see where the indus in, let's see where the industry wants to go it doesn't matter what the, it doesn't matter where the industry wants to go the, the thing is we have the principles no, yeah. if we stick to them then the industry kind of maybe has to toe the line i think what's quite interesting is that you know if you're if you're somehow interested in um, an, art, uh, an artistic way of using a computer to represent buildings. 
is what we do. So generally, but do, do, do remember, was it last year you're when not a, you, you're not going to be a Nazi, if you know what I mean? You're generally quite, quite a liberal thinking but, type person. So it's a, it's a nice industry to be involved in in that way. Yeah, but you've also got to look beyond the borders of of arc fizz and look at at people who have got architectural training and they're now getting into games they get into concept design that the the skill set can be used and is being used in pre-production and pre viz it's used everywhere but it's and that's a story that to me that's really really exciting to think that you can work in all these different creative industries with the same skill set and i think that's what the guys the D2 challenges we're showing that the skill set that these this community has is phenomenal. Yeah. So look, don't restrict yourself simply to working as a visualizer. So I so I think I said it 20 minutes ago, and I, I and I thought that the the, the big, I think the industry we work in is um, I mean I'm a 45 year old white man, so. You may disagree with me. Right, well, um, we, we don't know because we only see you through Zoom these days. We don't know what makeup you've got on. Yeah, are you, uh, are you really 45 and really? 45 and white? <laughs> oh, this is, uh, I had to be a complete. Oh, here we go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just piles in. No, I'll go with it. As much as I'd like to hear old, uh, how old Simon is, um, I'd actually like to talk more about At least 10 years younger than me. Yeah. Um, Alex is still young. It's Keep fine. going, Simon. Yeah, I'm you still young, but yeah, go on. Um, I, I, think, I think we were Simon talking Ma a bit earlier uh, about the great, let, let the great make his presentations point. that we brought to the, uh, uh, to the, um, yeah, we were talking about the great presentations that we brought up, and somebody mentioned Dan Moore, um, who did a fantastic presentation on uh, VFX in the film industry. His Dark Materials, which is on at the moment. On oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, so yeah, good. yeah, that one. So good. Yeah. And watching us, and he was saying he did all the, uh, he did all the odd animal, all the, all the, the random animals. And of course, you watch this series, and every character has to have a demon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's hundreds so of there's them. There's loads of them. So God knows how many must have modelled. What I don't like her monkey there. Every time he comes on, <laughs> yeah, but he's not supposed to be nice. He, he's, a, he's a nasty little creature. Yeah, he's a nasty um, little fucker. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to like him. I quite like the cast after Christian did as well. That was awesome shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if I can, like, as the outsider, sort of do a summary, I think you guys are doing an awesome job collectively. Okay. No, you know, I mean, I, seriously, I, I think, like, it's come on leap and bands. I mean, like, compared to, you know, where I left it back in the day and, like, even when Simon had it, I mean, it's just, like, now you've got a committee and it's all kind of, like, working. It's firing and awesome. You know what, Alex, though, it's so just, good. It's not even a committee, though, and, like, and I think... I know, it's, inform, it's more informal than that, but at the same time, what you're doing is really, really good. You know, I tell you what, though, we had a, we had a discussion about this and, like, uh, because we talked about all the talks that we've done over the year, and your talk came up uh, in particular because. Oh shit! What did I say? No, no, no. Well, no, I tell you what, the, 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 the thing is, Alex, that like it's it's a bit more about what you didn't say, really, because okay, you know, after we after we clocked off, and it's almost mm. ten o'clock now, and it's probably going to happen again. But after That's we okay. clocked off. The, the the thing that really stood out about your talk was what we talked about after the talk, you know, yeah. because, uh, you, okay. because you've been active in, uh, for so long in the industry and you have such a history and you know... Yeah, so I have, but I, I know where all the skeletons are. That's the problem. And nobody yeah, wants to bloody it, talk but, about it. So, but, like, but we didn't talk about skeletons, though. We just talked about fantastic landmarks within, you know, within, this, within the... Uh, okay, I'm probably there talking are hundreds about the of them. The thing is, it's, it's not... We don't. It's like our, our industry is so brilliant. It's full of so many amazing creative people, and the achievements are just like you know that that you couldn't remember them all. There are just so many. Well, apparently you remember a few of them. 
I want to ask. Yeah, you can try. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I, I can maybe try like to the awards ceremony like two hours ago, whatever it was. But yeah, go on. Here, here's a question. Go on, Nigel. If it's so celebrated and so good, why is it not recognised officially by the RABA? Uh, because they're a bunch of industry. tossers. No, but but that's something I've challenged the RABA to say. They, why they can't can, they can't organise a piss up in a brewery? Yeah. But it's without, like they are totally you know, if I could intercede here, isn't that what they cover in the first Paddington Bear movie? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I haven't seen that one, but <laughs> but the, the <laughs> problem is the ROBA is is it would like to see itself as a spokesman for yeah, the. But, but they, 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 the ROBA recognise graphic design. They recognise. They very much recognise VR, but they do not recognise the vision, the contribution. All the visualisation studios, st starting with. Hayes Davidson. Well, when you when well, you say, well, no, but seriously, when you say they recognise, what do they do? Know, what, what what do you mean that, that by they recognise? Do they recommend be to nice their to members that they be, use that? No, it'd be nice to actually be recognised as a profession, so that the educators, the universities, but, can but, actually go. This but it's is only the minority of architects who are registered with the ROBA. No, I'm I'm saying an official recognition by an official body to say that the contribution that. That they don't have a body of people anyway. have made to to architecture isn't a, without any form of recognition no i, I agree with you don't that's see it a, as a profession so they no, don't that, that's a laudable uh, aim but but it's i, I don't wrong, know why you two are like but, against each other really it's um, yeah it's it's uh, the wrong body to approach because they oh, don't no. have a consensus they they hold a minority of the architects in the uk mm -hmm. there, there is they, a, almost, it's almost as if all of that Creative work collectively is owned by the architect rather than the artist. Correct. That's true. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but 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 that's not the ROBA's fault. The the part of the the problem with the ROBA is it is not representative. That that's what it's continually struggling with as an organisation because it charges a huge amount of money for you as a member, as an architect, and I speak from experience to actually join it and be a consistent member of it. Um, the ARB is kind of similar, but doesn't have a kind of collective voice. Um, I'm not sure that this is part of the problem. It's like, who, who do you aim for? If, yeah. if, you, if you're looking yeah, to you're kind looking of... Up. Yeah, Jeff, what happens in America? How, how is visualized? How is uh, the... Well, Jeff's in Canada. Oh, I tell you what, I think to, to, to see, um, you know, to see uh, a representative from the ISA, um, on Jeff's show tonight is fantastic because I'm I'm not sure that we we've really got it together as they do over there. Well, that's not true. We have we actually do have a society of architectural illustrators in London and, and in the UK. Well, it's, that's uh, what they, I was going to say. Uh, Joseph Robson's the chief, isn't yeah, he? Joe Robson. Yeah, well, he, he's yeah. become that way, but it's it's actually the, the bulk of the membership of that is like traditional artists rather than CG. Yeah. Everyone's talking Sorry. to everyone over I'll here. Up, no. Sorry, Simon. Joe Robson, very nice guy. He's presented at 3DS London multiple times. He's an incredible advocate for what not only um, 3D artists do, but traditional hand-drawn artists do for architecture. So I, I, will not, I will not hear a word against him said. What's he giving you? A, like, how come the Americans have um, uh, such a large yeah, presence? Say, like, I mean, I, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tread on loads of toes here. There's, there's less studios and artists, maybe not artists in America, but in in the UK, there's there's more studios and others but less representation. Oh, I don't know. This is why I was, but I, what, should, I was about to ask Jeff about because Jeff is not only uh, Jeff now I don't want to embarrass you but you have. I'm going to get hammered on that comment there so. Hang on hang on Joe. <laughs> I'm holding on. So Jeff you have a, a lifetime award from the ASAI um, so the American Association of Architectural Illustration. Am I correct? I'm yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. Yes, I am correct. So, I mean, so that's not to do with 3D technology and us geeking out about 3D map 
blah, 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 blah. It's to do with the representation of architecture. And, um, and we're, we're definitely going off on a tangent here because 3ds London is not supposed to be about solely architectural representation. It's 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 supposed it's to not, be. It's not, but 90% about... of the people that are here are in art biz, aren't they? Realistically. So it, it I, is relevant. I know, I know Alex, and that, and that and that's that that's a throwback to what we did the past fifteen years. It was a whole bunch no, of no, no. It's not a throwback. It's it reflects the current skin. current yeah. viewership. I suspect. I think most people who are here are here because of art biz. I mean, it may not be totally the case, but I, I think it's still kind of totally relevant. Zaps, no. So, so Simon, uh, I, yeah, well, it was sad. Sad. I need to interrupt here, but I've got to, I've got to run. But uh, oh, I, I wanna, <laughs> are you going to answer oh, first? Yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've got to go into a meeting here in about ten minutes. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for having me, and uh, hope you guys all have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Yeah, yeah. merry Christmas to you, Jeff. Merry Christmas. Nice to see you, Jeff. We'll talk thank soon. You Hopefully, we'll see you in person again soon. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to see you. Merry Christmas. 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 Jump yes, there, you guys. Yeah, uh, it's eleven here. So oh, you've done. Tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be a long day, and even the day after tomorrow. So. Well, you you will, <laughs> you will see us. We will be there. Thank you. Um, uh, PSA, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be there tomorrow at lunchtime. So. And and thank, thank you so much for joining us. It, it's been uh, hopefully <laughs> you've you've been very patient with us, but we're off on a tangent now. <laughs> no, no, it's um, been it's been it's been very pleasant, guys. It's been so nice. Thank you very much for having me, and see you tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, yeah, yeah, great to have you on board. Thank you. Ciao. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, Joe. Um, uh, I I don't think it is a tangent actually. I, I think it it, it reflects essentially who our viewership is I mean, it's we, kind of... we still have 22 people watching us um, let's say hi to the die 22 people um it's less than 300 but hopefully it'll be less bloody and and we could have a tune from zap to get us <laughs> through to the next segment I tell you what, Zap, it's so much better when you're playing than when you're sampling. Okay. Just so you know. No way. Right. Because it's because it's immediate and, it, and it's kind of like contextual. It's like when you sample it, it, it kind of the, the timing's off. It, it doesn't kind of work the same way. When you play live, okay. it's 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 better. Well, well. except maybe on the bass. <laughs> <laughs> I said my Sorry, I've had too many that, beers, but it's man. fun. <laughs> Are we all we're all going to go quick. I would say that would be well, soon. I'm, I'm just asking the audience if it's been an awesome evening, watching. though. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, except we're scared of I mean, the, 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 the thing is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the thing is, we, we were we we're opening in the shadow of the 3D awards, which were awesome, so it was always going to be a little bit kind of like aftermath. Yeah, and then the thing is, tra traditionally, we it's we don't really do it well. Last year was Hayes Davidson. It's yeah, more... I mean, Chris, Christmas is not a. We, we've always shirked away from holidays. Yeah, but this is just a get together and have a chat. And well, we think... have no, we have no real excuse in lockdown, do we? Because we we can't really claim we're all going away on holiday to Turkey yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so you're not it's... supposed to answer me, Simon, on on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Sammy Hans, she, I see Sammy Hans, she's um, still watching us from Doha. Hello, hello, Sammy Hans. Okay. Must be like two that's in the a, morning. That's a lot. There's some guy who was kind of effusing over my accent as well, which is kind of. Did someone ask where you were from? Yeah, which is nice, but it's. I think he's British. Yeah, but it is <laughs> British, yeah. No, I think I got, I have quite a Just deep a voice. I think which people do actually quite like sometimes. But it, 
tends to be usually be women. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely on there. But that's that. That's that cool. saying, come on, come over to my channel. Yeah. Well, I yeah, you... I know. I've been there. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Are you going as well? No, I'm not. Uh, so, are we closing down here no. to go to Zap? No. Well, okay. The well, I can put. Hang on, I'm going to make the Zap full screen so we can see his channel, so the the viewers can actually. Should you full screen moi? You got to bring up your titles. That's a I cool T-shirt. I like the T-shirt. Yeah, it's broken though. The segment in the middle isn't blinking the way it should. Um, yeah, if you, punch well, you just it, have it to it enable the right MIDI channels. The shop well, in you Canada, just plug, plug yourself in. I need to plug myself in. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add some smoke and um, more smoke. I have a pedal for that. Yes, more smoke. <laughs> you need more smoke and more lasers. Maybe I should. I, I, have, a, I have a like really bad yeah, confession. Three, three, three. I, I spent I spent most of this afternoon watching like uh, some weird channel on Swedish TV about uh, Viking shipbuilding. Nice. Which was like awesome actually, because it's just nice. like the, the, the skill level was just beyond belief. But it was in Swedish, so oh. I didn't quite understand it. So Us Vikings were insanely skilled at shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. True though. They, they, they didn't have bases back then though. We did. But also we had the Vasa which <laughs> sunk on its maiden voyage. So maybe okay. maybe not always. <laughs> the skill level varies. Although we, I, I guess we weren't Vikings back then anymore. I actually I have a metric ton of Viking Age stuff around where I live. I have runestone, like 800 <laughs> meters in that direction is one runestone, and uh, one kilometer in this direction yeah. is a runestone. I think my, most four of the four kilometers, four kilometers the... in that direction is oh, yeah. northern oh, wow. Europe's biggest rock carving. Oh, oh. Like that. I think most of the Vikings who end up here were for uh, like Denmark and Norway rather than Sweden. But I think the Swedish guys ended up down the Volga and like going the Russia's yes. direction. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Swedes went the the eastern way, as we called it in Sweden, mm -hmm. and the, the Danish and Norwegian were the one that yeah, 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 ransacked yeah, yeah. UK um, and stuff. Got, well, the, 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 hey, Nigel, you're online. I'm <laughs> what? You're online. You're you're live. I'm on, on your mobile. Yeah, I'm talking to Simon. But Simon, I'm live. <laughs> <talking. laughs> Hang on, let me just. <laughs> <laughs> what, can he not hear you? Is this mute Alex? Is he saying mute Alex? I take it we've missed the end. Uh, I've missed the end. And we're, uh... hey, we're still we're still on. I think. Oh, still yeah, on. We are. As far as I know, we're still going. All right. I wonder if uh, I should start streaming on my channel at the same time. Yeah, know. why not? Go for it. Are we sort of wrapping up, or what's happening? You know, Nigel's, on Nigel's on the phone. Nigel's on the phone. He's um... <laughs> Nigel's on the I think phone. if anyone's listening anymore, then yeah, 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 we're, yeah. 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 we're just going to wait for Simon to get back, and we'll say go goodbye to everyone. Here he is. So we've got <laughs> so just, Tom, what's that painting in the background? Oh, it's just kings of, I think it's the Kings of Leon poster. It's a what? It's sorry. Just the Kings of Leon poster that I got oh, okay. like a print. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to do the painting. Complaining that I looked like I was in a in a um, in a closet, like in a just like in a in a wardrobe. So oh, I hope okay. I'm just sending posters to Tom out of sympathy. Yeah. See, it's just right. dropped up against the wall. We're going to say good evening to our viewers, the last of our viewers. 3.37 a.m. The news is watching from somewhere. It's like, you're, you're, you're oh, no, amazing to be staying up that late. Oh. We are going to say good night to you all now. Um, thank you everyone who tuned in tonight and uh, to what has been a three-hour um, chat. Uh, we'll be back 
in January. Where's they say, they say on Twitch, you've got to raid, you've got to raid Zach Anderson's channel now. So, so, yeah, we're going to, we're, we're going to, we're going to head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Zach Anderson with two S's. With two S's, like the Vikings do it. Like the Vikings do it. So, <laughs> If you want to, if you wanted to get down with some fat flapping bass and yeah. some interesting tunes, then it's come and join us. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for tuning in to 3DS London Stroke 3DS Meetup TV this year. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've really had a good time. Um, and I think that's anything else from anyone else? Good night. I think, I think just Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Like, thank Happy you so much. Seasonal greetings to everyone else. Year. And yeah, so thank you and a, and a Merry Christmas. And, and ho, ho, ho. 2021. Thank you. Okay. Not another one. And peace and love. Cheers, guys. Love.